Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm not here for you. I'm here for your husband. He will soon join me in a moment. He's taking me out for shopping. Are you high or something? And how dare you speak to my guest in such manner? Have you lost it? Richard, has it gotten to this? So you now have the F1 tree to bring another woman into our house. You mean my house? Point of correction, this is my house. You didn't assist me in any way to build it. You came here and met everything, so quit choosing how. My love, don't you think we should be on our way already? You ho, how dare you? Are you mad? The next time you try this, I will kill you that day. It's okay, sweetheart. I was expecting something like this. Anyway, let's go. You ho, I'm going to find you. And when I do, I'll so deal with you that you'll regret coming into this world. Prostitute, I'll treat a fuck up in this city. You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> what kind of a man did I marry like this? He doesn't even have any atom of regard for me. Just look at the way he insulted me in front of that ho. I can't take this anymore. I can't continue to keep quiet. You come back and meet me here. Enough of this nonsense. So it has gotten to the extent you deny me food in my own house. You should have thought about that before you decided to disrespect me. You must be very stupid to think that you can rub shoulders with me in my own house. Richard. Don't interrupt me while I am speaking. Now listen to me and listen good. I married you and brought you into this house so that you can bear me children and also take care of me, which includes cooking my meals. You will perform your duties in this house without questioning me. I perform my duties, which is to provide for you and the children. Now get out from my sight and fix me something to eat immediately. I'm so sorry for not preparing your meal, but I don't deserve this treatment I'm getting from you. Will you shut up and get out of my sight before I descend on you? Hello? My son, where are you now? I'm at home with my wife. Is there anything the matter? Yes, yeah, so I want you to come home and help me fix something. I'm so weak. My whole body is paining me and the help is not around. But mom, it's past 10 already and I can't leave my wife and child at by this time. Can't it wait till tomorrow? No, it can't wait. Why can't you leave your wife? Was she the one that carried you for nine months? That nursed you? That took care of you and sent you to school? So, you no longer care about your own mother, right? You are now giving excuses. It's okay, mom. Hello? Where the hell are you by this time of the night? I'm driving to my mom's place. She wants to help me with one or two things. I'll be back tomorrow morning. What? So you left me and Junior without notice by this time of the night? To go help your mother with one or two things. Look, I have to go now. I'm driving and can't talk now. I love you. Bye. This is getting out of hand. Did I marry a man or a boy? What kind of nonsense is this? I'm going to have it out with him when he comes back. I can't take this anymore. He will come back here and meet me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You can't go in like that. I'm here to see my wife. I'm sorry, sir, but you can't go in. She's about to attend an important board meeting and can't attend to you at the moment. You have to wait for her. Thank God you said about to, meaning the board meeting has not started. So can you please excuse me? I need to see my wife immediately. I'm sorry, sir. You can just hold on for a second. Let me call her and know if she's available. Hello ma, your husband is here at the reception and he says he wants to see you immediately. I told him that you can't see anyone at the moment, but he is bent on seeing you immediately. Yes ma. Okay ma, she says you can see her.
Caleb, get to see me. This is unusual. I wonder what the matter is that he had to drop by suddenly. I hope Paul is okay. Amanda, what is the meaning of all this? I thought we'd had an agreement. What a surprise. I wasn't expecting you. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you seriously asking me that? Look, I don't have time. I have a meeting in three minutes, so if you have anything to tell me, can you just say it? My God, you are unbelievable. Are you seriously trying to play the clueless card here? Are you going to talk or should I be going to my meeting? So you left our child unattended to after we agreed that you will be taking her to school every morning. My goodness. So this is what you left your business to come here and tell me. Let me ask you, what's wrong with taking your own baby to school? There is nothing wrong with that. I have been the one doing it since she started schooling. But due to the nature of my business at the moment, we both agreed that you will be doing it for now. And just a day after our agreement, you ran out of the house, leaving all your responsibilities behind. I had to miss an important business because I had to take her to school again. You even left the house before I could wake up. What's the matter with you? Haven't you heard of family first? Of course I have, and I always place my family first. Oh, you do? Of course I do, and you know it. You just want to put me under your subjection, and I refuse to be one. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. Here we go again. Must you start this feminism madness every time? Oh, so it's now madness to you, right? Of course. Yours is already driving you insane. But you knew I was a feminist before marrying me, didn't you? I thought your type of feminism was reasonable. I don't know yours was to this extreme. There's nothing wrong in taking our daughter to school. It must not be a woman's rule. And you and I know that I have been the one doing that with all my heart all this while. I only ask you to do it for a while because I won't have the time for now. If you do it, will you die? Time's up. I have to go now. We'll talk when I come back in the evening. Are you trying to walk out on me? I have a meeting to attend. You should also go and attend to your business instead of standing here and arguing over things that doesn't make sense. Mama, what are you doing here and how did you get in here? What do you mean, how did I get in here? Is this not my son's house? And is that how you are supposed to welcome your mother-in-law? Good afternoon, ma. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm surprised to see you here. You didn't tell us you would be coming. So, I have to now drop a notice before I visit my son, right? No, I mean, it's just that. Just that what? I don't know what is wrong with you young girls of this generation. Instead of welcoming me, you are standing here questioning my being in my son's house. I'm so sorry, ma. Please don't be annoyed. Have you had anything to eat? What do you mean by you don't know she was coming here? I swear, I don't know that she'll be coming. I'm equally surprised. Then how did she get in? Because I locked the doors before leaving the house this morning. Who opened the door for her? She has her own key. What? You gave your mom one of the spare keys to her house without my knowledge. I'm sorry. I was going to tell you but I forgot. You forgot? Yes. Look, I'm sorry. Why would you even do that? She asked for it. And you gave it to her? Why won't I? She's my mother. My God! Are you even listening to yourself at all? Are you married to your mother or me? Why would your mother have the keys to her house, intruding whenever she likes? I don't like it. Hmm. Okay, when is she leaving? She said she'll be staying for a few weeks. Few what? Is it not enough that you gave her the keys to intrude whenever she likes? I also have to put up with her for weeks. This is insane. Sweetheart, it's my mom we are talking about here. What do you want me to do? Send my mom out? Please don't try to make an issue out of nothing. She's just going to be here for a few weeks and she'll be gone. You are unbelievable. And you are being dramatic. Am I? Yes, you are. What's wrong with my mother coming here to spend some time? Have I ever questioned your mother coming here to see you? 
You and I know that my mother doesn't come here to spend weeks upon weeks all the time. When last did you see my mom here? But your mom is always here poking her nose in our matters all the time. Well, moms are different. Moms are different. Is that how you have to say? I'm so hungry right now. Aren't you supposed to be fixing dinner right now? Instead of standing here and arguing over nothing. Like seriously? Why is it taking Rose so long to get here? Or has she changed her mind? I called her before coming and she assured me that she would be here. Maybe her husband didn't give her permission to come. You know Rose can be such a prepet when it comes to her husband. Amanda, how do you know? Hmm. Someone whose husband refused her having a career of her own and confide her to his house and house alone. At least her husband is a multi-millionaire and he gives her everything. She's living large. Wife of a millionaire indeed. She's hiding under the identity of her husband instead of owning her own identity. If her husband is taken away from her, she's nothing. I wouldn't mind to switch places with her though. What? You mean you'll give up your career as a lecturer to become the wife of a millionaire? It's not a big deal. As far as I'm living this life, Rocking the letters, designer wears, and going for vacation to any place of my choice. You and Rose really need some reorientation. On the contrary, I think you are the one that needs some reorientation. You are really taking this your feminism shit to the extreme. You better take it easy. Is fighting for equality a bad thing, or are you just trying to be a coward? If you're fighting for equity, then I'm 100 percent by your side. But if it's equality, count me out. Equality is unrealistic. I'm so sorry, girls. There was heavy traffic on my way here. Wow, madam. You just want to oppress us, Sha. You look stunning. Omo, um, uh, this one no be small oppression. Uh. She's not only looking stunning, but also expensive. You girls should stop whining me, Jerry. <laughs> How are you doing? I've missed you girls, so. We are good, though. You're forgetting your girls now. You're just spending your husband's money alone. Look at how you're shining. Amanda, you want this, you're whining. You've not changed. No one is whining you yet. We are just stating the facts. Okay, oh. thanks for the compliment. And how is our top-notch working class lady doing? I'm doing great, dear. She is doing more than great, so. Oh. Amanda just got promoted about a week ago. Really? So you got promoted and you know inform me? Don't mind me, Bill. It's not a serious promotion. The raise in my salary is not even any different from my former salary. I don't think it's worth announcing. All the same, you should have told me. At least, it's something. I'm sorry, dear. So how is work at the university going? Fine. Nothing new or spectacular. It's the usual. Although, I'm planning to go for my doctorate very soon. Wow, that's great. This is what I love hearing. I love it when women are ambitious and have goals. Um, guess what, girls? What? My husband just gave me two million naira to go on his shopping spree last Saturday. My dear, we are so lucky. Yes, Richard is the best husband any woman can ask for. He showers me with all the love and care. Yes, but at the same time, there's nothing like having your own business and money to avoid insults in future. If I were you, I would try and start up, even if it's a small business, instead of staying at home all day, answering yes, sir. Amanda, I husband money is still our own money. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I'm so sorry, girls, but I have to go now. My husband just called and has asked me to come home immediately. I think he is missing me and wants me by his side. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that the person you just finished talking to on the phone is your husband. It's my husband. Anything wrong with that? What's with this, sir? As though you're talking with your boss or your father. Please, I'm not a feminist like you. A wife should be submissive to her husband, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't mind her, dear. It's that feminism that we kill her, last, last. You are happy in your marriage and that's what matters. Please go and answer your husband and send our regards to him. I really have to go now. I'll call you girls later. Take care of yourself. Why is she so in a hurry to leave? As if her husband would beat her up if she's a minute late. Amanda, what you did today was not nice. So telling a friend the truth is not nice? 
Everyone must not be a feminist like you or buy your toxic idea. You are trying to rub our careers in our face. Must everyone be a career woman? I said she didn't try to rub her husband's lavishness in our face. And yes, everyone must be a feminist and have a career, if you must know. Damn, you don't know how toxic you sound right now. You are the only one who is sounding toxic, if only you knew. Please, can we drink up and talk about something else? We should all be feminists and I'll continue to tell you until you get that into your thick skull. How is my baby doing? I'm good. I'm working on this presentation. I'm so tired right now, but I have to finish this before anything else. Won't you fix us something for dinner? I'm kinda hungry right now. You have to fix something for yourself to eat because... You say what? You can say I'm busy now. Will you die if you enter the kitchen and fix something for yourself? That's your responsibility and not mine. You don't expect me after the whole stress at work to come home and enter the kitchen, do you? Why not? Are you the only one that had a stressful day? I am also stressed out. And who told you cooking is restricted to one gender alone? My God, are we seriously going to do this again? Cooking is a survival skill. If you don't cook, you die. So don't come and make it look like it's a woman role. I am not anyone's slave. So what's your role in this house as a wife? Look, I had a long day at work and I am not caught up for this kind of argument. I am a working class lady just like you. So you don't expect me to be cooking all the time. If cooking meals is the issue, then we can easily get a cook. A cook? Yes. How hard can it be? We can easily get a good cook and put an end to this whole madness. I don't want a cook while you are here. Look, I have work to do. You are seriously distracting me. Amanda! Amanda! Don't you dare walk out on me. Come back here. I know Amanda can be such a head, but I can't help but to see an atom of truth in what she was saying. I need to have something of my own, even if it's a small business. I can't be sitting at home all day wasting my time. Just take a look at both Amanda and Mabel. Their husbands are doing well, but they also have a life of their own. Amanda works with a big advertising agency, while Mabel is doing just fine as a lecturer. I'll try and beg Richard and see if he can reason with me. Good evening, sir. Where the hell are you coming from by this time? I'm sorry, sir. I went out with Amanda and Mabel. So you had the effort truth to leave my house without telling me? I'm sorry, sir. I tried calling you, but your number wasn't connecting. I am only leaving you today because I am in a good mood. The next time you leave this house without my permission, you will have yourself to blame. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now go get me something to eat. Okay, sir. Mama, is anything the matter? Nothing. I just added a little salt and spices to the soup. What? Why would you come to my kitchen and tamper with my pot of soup? I just finished cooking that soup and it tastes good. <laughs> now, wow. You mean, why would I come to my son's house and touch his pot of soup? This is my house and not yours. You once had yours. Why not let me have mine in peace? You must be very stupid to think that you can tell me what to do in my son's house. The son I carried for nine months in my womb. My God, you are unbelievable. Can you stop this? After related and had enough of this nonsense. Wait a minute. Are you indirectly calling me a mad woman? How dare you? So because you... You know what? I can't take this anymore. Come back here, you mannerless child. You think you can disrespect me in my son's house, right? I will deal with you. Nonsense. Let my son come back. You can't be serious. I don't see anything wrong in what she did. My mom is obviously more experienced than you and she was only trying to correct you on one or two things. She's intruding in my privacy. She has no right to go into my pot of soup. 
Who does that? Why can't you and mom just get along? Why are you finding fault in everything she does? And why have you refused to see no wrong in anything she is doing? She's my mom for crying out loud. So, does that being your mom makes everything she's doing right? Can you even listen to yourself? Your mom comes into our house and takes over my role as your wife, and you don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> you are funny. So, her correcting your cooking automatically means she's taking over your role. Look, you're getting this all in your head. You need to relax. So, is that all you have to say? Please, can we go and eat? I'm not going anywhere. Go and eat with your mom. I'm no longer hungry. Sweetheart, you know I love you and that your happiness is my priority. I don't like it when you are like this. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm beginning to doubt it because you don't act like what you just professed. Please don't talk like this. You know it breaks my heart when you doubt my love for you. So between me and your mom, who is your priority? I love my mom. I also love you. I love you both equally. You are both my priority. <laughs> I can't believe what I just said right now. Did I say anything wrong? I can't believe I got married to a boy instead of a man. You are unbelievable. Sweetheart, what did I say wrong now? You know I love you so much. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Babe, what's up? I'm good, you. I'm doing great, oh, I've really missed you girls. You've missed us and yet you cannot call. You know it's not like that. My work is demanding and so I'm always occupied. Too occupied to even say hi to your friends. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Maybel, 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 how many times did I call you? Three times. Respect yourself, oh. I was thinking, how about we have a girl's night out, you know? I would love that. How about we make it happen this weekend? This weekend is fine by me. I'll call Rose and inform her. All right. I have to go now. I'll call you later. I'm working. You and this your work, eh? Okay, then. Why do I feel odd among you guys these days? Odd? As in, oh, I remember. I'm the only bachelor here. You know, get sense. Chronic bachelor like you. He's acting like he's a bachelor by choice. We all know. That the reason you are still single is because no girl wants to marry you and not because you wish to remain single. Yee, yeah. Frank, you know good who I felt that. See this mommy's petal. Hope you suck breath before coming here. <laughs> hey, it's alright. Enough of the savage. But MD, I don't mind switching places with you, even if it's for one day. You see what I'm talking about? And I know all of you wants to be in my place. Oh, God, shut up, Jerry. Who wants to be in your place? Guy, why do you say so? Oh, my wife has become something else. She's even worse now that she has joined the useless movement and even started attending their meetings. How can you let your wife join that movement to the extent of even attending their meetings? Guy, you don't fuck up, who? Amanda is not like Rose. She's very stubborn and can't be bent easily. I'm just frustrated right now. What exactly do you mean by she can't be easily controlled? They never born Rose where to try any feminist bullshit with me. Guy, not everyone is a trend like you. Are you expecting him to beat her up or something? Caleb, have you tried to talk it out with her? I have tried, but the thing has eaten deep into her brain that she can't even reason well again to the extent that she doesn't even cook. In fact, she doesn't have any responsibility in that house. I'm tired. This is serious. I still maintain that you gave her the chance to start misbehaving like this. That is why I don't give Ruth any room for nonsense. When I did talk, nobody did listen. So, I won't talk anything. Seriously? Guy, I wish I took your advice then. It is well. Just keep trying. She will come back to her senses very soon. I hope so. What is my business? What it concern me? My own is to drink and watch the movie unfold. Guy, waiting now. Guy, waiting now. MD, if not to borrow sense, better go borrow now. I'm sorry, guys. I was carried away by the trailer. So, when will the main movie start? MD, is this you? No, it's my ghost. It's been a while. Where is that husband of yours? 
He went to get some grocery at the nearby store. He'll be back at any minute. So how are you doing? I'm good. It's been a while since you dropped by at our place. Hope all is well. Mabel! Mabel! What are those dishes doing in the sink unwashed? Is that how you usually leave dirty plates in the kitchen? I'll wash it. I just left the kitchen to attend to her visitor. Good evening, ma. Oh, it's you. How are you doing, dear? I am doing great. Frank went to get some things at the nearby store. He will soon be back. Marvel hasn't given you anything to drink, has she? No, but... Nonsense. What's your mother-in-law doing here? You didn't tell me she was here. I really don't know what she's doing here. That woman is seriously getting on my nerves. She has been here for the past two weeks and I don't know when she's leaving. Two weeks? No. What exactly is she doing here? That is what I don't understand. All she's doing here is trying to tell me how to run my own. Crossing boundaries and invading my privacy. And the worst part of it all is that your friend doesn't see anything wrong with it. He's always at her beg and call. I'm just tired. I don't know if it's a boy or a man I married. Now you cuss her. What? Are you saying it's my fault? Yes. You're such a clown. How is it my fault? You see, that's my problem with you people. That's the same thing you said when you were about to get married to Frank. And I was trying to advise you. Anyways, I am not going to say anything. After all, what does a clown know? I'm sorry now. I didn't mean it that way. It's just that I'm kind of shocked that you're trying to blame me for my husband's misconduct. I'm not trying to entirely blame you. Frank is also at fault, but you could have caught it in the beginning. I'm listening. You didn't set your standard in the beginning. Yes, Frank is tied to his mother's umbilical cord. His mother set her standard, and that's what he is still following to today. You came into his life and refused to set your standard. You did not let him know from the beginning what you will and will not take. Wow. Yes. Anyways, it's not too late. You can still set your standards now, but it's not going to be easy since you didn't start it from the beginning. I know Frank loves you and cannot bear to lose you. He is going to bend in the end. You just have to be tough if you want to win. I'm short of words right now. I didn't know you can say something meaningful like this. Chimo, try. So that's all of you rate me, Abby. I don't blame you people. If you have seen me finish. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just kidding. But what you said really makes sense. I've been keeping quiet and bearing it all the side, but I can't take it anymore. Guys, what's up? I beg no vex. I just went to get some groceries. Hope you've not waited too long. No, it arrived some minutes. <laughs> MD really made sense today. I was the one that tolerated all this from the beginning. It's not as if I didn't notice that it was the mommy's boy. I noticed, but I chose to ignore instead of dealing with the issue. And now it's getting out of hand. I need to stand up and fix it because I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Please, leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. Baby. What's the matter? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be with your mother? What are you doing by my side when your mommy is here? Oh, baby, you've started again. What does my mother have to do with this? She has everything to do with it. You better go and make love to her since she's the one you value and listen to the most. Baby, why are you talking like this? You know I value you. But you value her more. Baby, you know that's not true. But the action says otherwise. If it's not true, then you have to prove it to me. Okay, what do you want me to do? I think your mother has overstayed her welcome. Please, can you politely ask her to leave? If that's what you want, consider it done. So, are we even? No, until she leaves. Come on, babe. <laughs> Stop it, Joe. Mom, why would you badge in like that? My stomach, oh, my stomach. I'm purging seriously. I don't know what your wife put inside today's dinner. That's why I don't like her cooking the meals anytime I'm around. Now, take a look at me. Only God knows what she put inside that food. What? Please, what exactly is going on here? Will you shut up? So you still have the guts to talk, right? Like, seriously? Are you going to sit here and say nothing? And why didn't you lock the door? I had no idea that the door wasn't locked. But mom, you should have knocked before entering. 
knock before entering my son's room. Something is wrong with you. Will you stand up from there and go get him some drugs to stop this stomach upset and purging? Oh, God. Are you still sitting there? It's okay, Mom. Let's go. I'll go get you something now. What rubbish? Is Frank kidding me right now? Just when I thought he was beginning to have sense. Anyways, I'm out for him this time around. Nonsense. I'm really sorry for bothering you, but I really want to talk to you about something. Can I? I am all ears. Um, um, uh, I, I... Do you say what you want to say or get out of my sight if you have nothing to say? I'm sorry, sir. The thing is that I've been wondering if you could help me start up a small business so that I can have something doing instead of sitting at home all day. You want to have something doing? Yes, sir. Are you lacking anything or is there anything you want that I don't give you? It's not about lacking anything. I just need to have something of my own. I can't be asking you for money all the time. Am I complaining or... Was there any time I told you that I can no longer provide for you? All my friends have something doing for themselves. They are all boss ladies with a career of their own, while all I do here is sit at home, wasting my life. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, I see. Now, I see where this is coming from. So that your stupid feminist friend of yours, called Amanda, is already feeding you with rubbish, right? Of course not. This has nothing to do with Amanda. So you want to start up something of your own so that you can be making money and rubbing shoulders with me in this house and join the feminist coven with your friend, right? No, far from it. Now listen to me and listen good. This should be the first and last time you will ever talk to me about something like this again. I provide all your needs while you sit at home and take care of the home and kids. Is that understood? Why are you so rigid? I'm so tired and sick of this year. Am I the one you are talking to in that manner? What did I say or do to deserve this kind of treatment? You are the meanest man I've ever met. You are still talking, right? You must be I to think that you can open your mouth and talk to me anyhow. I can see that feminist friend of yours is already giving you morale. The earlier you tell her that a shitty feminist shit can't work in this house, the better for you. Nonsense. Sweetheart, that reminds me, tomorrow is the PTA meeting at Princess School. Please, make sure you are there. You have to go because I have an important presentation at work tomorrow morning and lots of meetings after. I don't think I have any time to spare. Please just go this one time. I'll go next time. You have to create time. Your busy schedule these days is preventing you from carrying out your duties in this house. And it's not nice. What's wrong with you, man? So representing your own daughter in school also deflates your manly ego. Will you become less of a man if you represent your own daughter? Why do you always like to start a gender war whenever you get a chance? What does going to PTA meeting has to do with my ego? You are acting like I don't go too. Good. Then you can just go this one time. You men are always fond of using women as sacrificial lamb. I've told you I'm going to be really busy at work tomorrow. What's hard to understand? You know what? I've heard enough of this nonsense. I'm the head of this house. And you will respect and listen to me as your husband. You are going to that meeting tomorrow, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you are very funny. And if I refuse to go, which I'm definitely going to refuse. Then you will see another side of me. I have had enough of this nonsense. I can't wait to see the other side of you. I really can't wait. You have to drop princess at school today. I won't be able to do so. Fair enough. Sweetheart, come let's go. Mommy is running late for work already. And you must be at that PTA meeting today. You know I won't be there. Then don't bother coming back to this house. <laughs> Babe, what's up with you? I am pissed off right now. It's written all over you. Can you believe my husband literally commanded me to go to my daughter's PTA meeting? I explained why I wouldn't be able to make it as a result of work. And guess what he said? Please tell me. That I shouldn't come back home if I don't go. What rubbish. And are you going? 
Of course not. Why can't he go himself? Or if he goes, will he become less of a man? He said he'll be too busy today to make it. Oh, so you are the jobless one, right? So you are the one to put your career and life on hold while he's free to pursue his in the name of being the head of the family. I tie out. Let him do his worst. If he refused my entry in the house, I won't even argue with him. I'll simply look for a beautiful hotel to lodge and also give myself a treat while I'm on break from him and my so-called wife duties. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm so proud of you. That's why we always teach women to have their own thing to avoid insults like this. If you were a broke ass that is totally dependent on him, you wouldn't have a choice than to submit. Yes, so so when exactly is our next empowerment coming up? That's what I came here to discuss with you. We, the executives of Feminist Union, will be having our meeting this weekend to pick a date for the empowerment program. Wow, that's good news. I'm so excited about this year's empowerment program. I hope we reach out to many young girls and young women out there and really educate them. Of course. I know that this year's empowerment will be greater than last year's. I will be in my office. I will call you to inform you of any latest development or changes. Let me leave you to concentrate on your work. All right, dear. And please, don't let your husband bother your pretty head at all. Of course not. I don't even have his time. Good evening, love. How was your day? So after everything, you still went ahead to do what's on your mind, right? Sweetheart, please. I had a hectic day at work today. And all I need right now is a shower and a sound sleep. I meant what I said about not letting you inside this house. Since your work and feminist movement is more important than me and our daughter, you can as well go back there because you are not entering this house today. You can't be serious. Please stop this unnecessary jam and move out of the way. Let me pass. I meant it. You are not going in. The earlier you realize it, the better. <sighs> All right. Since you have decided to be dramatic this night, I will leave you to act your drama alone. Call me when you are done. Good night. Babe. So you mean you're in a hotel room right now? Do you think I'm joking or something? No, it's just that you should have tried begging him instead of being stubborn and walking away just like that. Beg him for what? I don't have that strength and besides, I'm not the submissive type of wife. Babe, to be honest with you, I think you're taking this thing too far. You're just making issue out of nothing. Apologizing and setting this issue is what you should have done. But instead, you decided to turn it into a gender war and prolong the issue. I'm not creating the gender war. He's the one looking down on me because I'm a woman. He wants me to make me the sacrificial lamb, which I won't tolerate. Why can't he put his business on hold and go for the PTA meeting? Why must I be the one to do it? Is it because I'm a woman? Amanda, you are unbelievable. Is princess not your daughter? Will you die if you go represent your own daughter? You see what I'm talking about? It's this ideology of yours that... The patriarchy has used to enslave women, and I pity you because you are a victim. They make it look like taking care of children is a woman's responsibility alone. Amanda, I advise you, leave that your feminist movement because it's beginning to take a toll on your senses. You're no longer reasoning well, and if you're not careful, it will destroy your home. And I also advise that you become a feminist, fight for your rights, and free yourself from the shackles of slavery. <laughs> you're such a clown. Please, I want to go and cook for my husband, Jerry. I don't have your time this night. I'll talk to you later. Whatever. Good night. Mabel, you will have to excuse me because I'm the one preparing today's dinner. Excuse you? In my own kitchen? You mean my son's kitchen? Look, I'm trying my best to respect you because you are my husband mother. But I really can't take this anymore. You have crossed all your boundaries. Will you shut up your mouth? How dare you open your mouth and talk to me like that? You must be a very foolish woman to think you can lay your hands on me. 
What the hell do you take me for? Is it because I've been trying to respect you all this way that you think you can treat me like a trash? You've just told me that you don't deserve any form of respect anymore and I'm giving it to you the way you want it. You better pack your things and get out of my house if you know what's good for you. Mabel, you slapped me. And I'll do it again and again if you don't get out of my kitchen this instant. Consider your marriage with my son over. <laughs> Says who? Mom, are you crying? What's the matter? Can you believe that your wife had the guts to hit me simply because I offered to prepare dinner for you this night? What? Are you serious about this? So it has gotten to the extent that my own son doesn't believe me anymore. Of course not. It's just that my bill that I know won't dare to hit you. She respects you a lot. Or do you do anything to her? Chai, so my own son that I suffered to carry for nine months so far to raise and gave my all has decided to choose another woman over me it's okay i'm leaving your house for you and the stranger you have chosen over me but consider our relationship as mother and son over since you have decided not to avenge your mother no please don't do that just tell me what happened just take a look at my face can't you see the marks what how dare maybe I raised her hand at you don't go anywhere. Just give me a minute. I'll be right back. So you chose to believe the fabricated lies your mother gave you, right? They are not lies. I saw the marks on her face. But you chose to ignore the marks on my face, right? You slapped her face. Why would I do that? She ate me first for no reason and I couldn't take it. Stop telling lies. My mother already told me all that happened. She offered to cook dinner this night and you slapped her and ordered her out of the kitchen. I can't believe that you're seriously buying that story. Why is it that whenever it comes to your mother, you seem not to know me again? I become a total stranger. Stop deviating from the issue at hand. You slapped my mom and I'm not going to tolerate it. So the fact that she's your mother makes everything she says the truth, right? I want you to go out there this minute. Kneel down. And apologize to her immediately. For what? For hitting her, goddamn. Hmm. I'll do no such thing. Your mother has been offending me all these years, but you never asked her to apologize to me. And now that she's at fault, you want me to apologize to her just so you can please her as always. Why can't you get up for once and be a man that you have? Take charge of your life for goodness sake. This has nothing to do with taking charge of my life. You slap my mother. If it were to be another person, I would have dealt mercilessly with that person. I won't tolerate anyone who tries to abuse my mother. But you tolerate anyone that tries to abuse your wife, right? Go and apologize to her. Now. I will not. Come and carry me, then force the words I'm sorry out of my mouth. Nonsense. I'll be back for you. Mommy, please forgive her. Don't go, please. Mabel is so stubborn. She has refused to come and apologize herself. She has refused. And you just let her go like that. Can't you deal with her? My son I suffer for can't even stand up for his own mother. Chai! This woman wants to break the bond between us and tear us apart. But it won't work. Mom, please stop crying. You know I hate to see you in tears. Please stop it. I will deal with maybe a letter. She must apologize to you. I think you need another wife. I can get you a better woman that will respect you and me too. This Mabel has crossed the line and she has to leave. It hasn't gotten to that, mom. Don't worry. She will definitely apologize, okay? It has gotten to that, oh. Okay. You know what? Let me help you take this luggage inside your room. Please stop crying, okay? Where are you going? Aren't you ready to sleep now? I'm leaving the room for you and your mother. I don't want to be a hindrance to your relationship anymore. 
You can call her to sleep by your side now. I'll be in Junior's room. What? It hasn't gotten to that now. Mabel, Mabel, come back here now and let's talk things over. You can't live like that. Madam, what are you still doing sleeping by this time of the day when you are supposed to be in the kitchen preparing my breakfast? I want to go have my bath and by the time I am done, I want my breakfast ready. Hello, sweetheart. Are you mad? Is it my husband that you are referring to as your sweetheart? If you know what is good for you, better leave my husband alone. If not, just take anything you see. Are you threatening me? It's more than a threat. If you don't leave my husband alone, I'll kill you. What? You heard me. You better leave him or prepare to die, cheap slut. <laughs> Rose, did my phone ring? No, sir. It's my phone. My mom just called to check up on me. Okay, I thought I heard my phone ring. No, it's mine. Baby, what is the matter? You have refused to talk to me. What exactly is my offense? How do you expect me to suck with you when your wife has threatened to kill me? My wife? When? How? This morning. I called you this morning and she was the one that picked up the call. Damn it. I knew my phone rang while I was in the bedroom. So Rose had the effrontery to touch my phone even to the extent of picking my calls. Look, if our relationship will result to my death, I suggest we we'll call it quit right now. I'm not ready to die yet. Call it quit, K. Please don't take anything my wife said seriously. She can't do anything. I will make sure I deal with her and she will never bother you again. Please don't leave me. I will give you anything you want. I'm sorry, but I think I need to call it quits. My life is more important than anything you want to give me. And besides, I can get it elsewhere. Baby, please, just let me undo this. Everything she told you are nothing but empty threats. I will definitely deal with her, but don't leave me, please. Hmm, okay. Thanks a lot, love. You don't know how happy I am. I can't bear to lose you. Hold on, boy. I never said I'm staying yet. Anyways, I'll stay on the condition that you'll take me for a vacation to my dad's. Anything you want, dear. Consider it's done. Your wish is my command. And make sure you call your wife to order because any more threat from her, consider us over. There won't be any threats from her anymore, I promise. <laughs> Richard, please don't use that on me. Please, I beg you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It will never repeat itself again. How many times have I warned you never to touch my phone, not to talk of picking my calls? <laughs> countless times. You've warned me countless times. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's pushed me today. I promise never to do it again. <laughs> please don't hit me with that. Not only did you pick my call, you also had the guts to threaten my babe. I can see that you are really growing wings and I am going to help you trim it today so that next time you will learn to stay in your place. <laughs> Richard, please. <laughs> What exactly is my offense to Richard that he has decided to treat me like this? Just take a look at my body. I'm leaving this house. I can't take this anymore. I'm going back to my mother's house before this man kills me. Hardly a week goes by without this man hitting me for no just reason. I'm tired. I can't take this anymore. I'll slink away tomorrow after he has gone to work. This is just too much for me. I can't continue to die in silence.
Richard did this to you? Yes. Devi is a liar. And how come you have not told me until this moment? I didn't want to bother you with my marital issues. I thought he would change. But it's obvious that he is not going to stop hitting me. Mommy, just take a look at me. I've really suffered. Wait a minute. Are you sure you're not doing anything to make him beat you like this? Mom, are you trying to justify his hitting me like this? Richard beats me at every slightest provocation. What about your two children? Who did you leave them for? I left a note for Richard. He'll take care of them. I just need to get away from him and breathe some fresh air. He can't be treating someone's daughter like this. Just take a look at you. This is just too bad. More than bad, mom. I'll be in my room. I need to catch some rest. All right, then. The nerve of her. Is she expecting me to come beg her to come back? Ta, if I hear. If she likes, she should stay there. I don't care. After all, I'm the one sustaining her and her so-called mothers. So she will definitely come back when her mother's monthly allowance is finished. Nonsense. Amanda. What has gotten into you? Where the hell have you been? I've been giving myself a treat, waiting for you to be true with your drama. My goodness. You didn't even bother to call me or let me know of your whereabouts. You made it clear that you didn't want me in the house, so I had to keep my distance till you feel you want me back. But you of all people should know that I didn't mean it like that. I wasn't even expecting you to leave that night. Really? Yes. I thought you would apologize or something, but you shocked me to my bone by walking away. Oh, so you're expecting me to go on my knees and lick your shoes before you let me in. And will you become less human if you do that? No, but I won't continue to feed your manly echo. Look, I didn't come here to have issues with you. I just came to get my wife back. I miss you. I missed you too. I want you back. I want my wife back. I love you so much i love you too i want to take you out on a romantic date this night i did love that so do we have a date of course we do all right love i have to head back to work now i will see you in the evening okay then i love you hmm i wasn't really expecting that from caleb but it's all good at least now he knows that I'm not ready to be a puppet in the name of being a wife. Baby, why haven't you prepared dinner yet? There's nothing to eat and I'm hungry. Why am I cooking for you when your second wife is there? You say what? Your mom, is she not your second wife? The last time I tried to cook, it brought serious quarrels, so I've decided to leave the kitchen for her. But my mom is not cooking today. Besides, She's fast asleep in her room, and I don't want to disturb her. That's none of my business. And for your information, I've resigned from my wifely responsibilities for your mother to take over. I'm not doing anything till she leaves this house. What? You can't be serious. Which includes not speaking to you. If you need anyone to chit chat with, you can go meet your second wife. Come back here. What's the meaning of all this? Mabel. Mabel! I know what I'm saying, mom. Mabel was not like this before. She never complains about us, but I'm surprised at her recent attitude. Forget her, dear. Is it because of food? I will prepare the best for you, just the way you like it. You don't understand, mom. Mabel has never refused to cook for me before. She even left her room to sleep in Junior's room. It has never happened. She's seriously not happy with me and is beginning to bother me. Don't worry. I can get you a second wife if she's acting up. I don't need another woman. I love Mabel. Your happiness is the most important thing to me right now. If she's making you unhappy, then I won't hesitate to find another woman for you. Mm, I'll be right back. Let me go and see if I can talk to her, okay? This 
this girl thinks she can overthrow me in my son's house. I will show her that I'm the one in charge. She thinks she can separate me from my son. Rose, we really need to talk. About? It's been a week since you left your husband's house. Has he called you since then? No, I'm beginning to get worried because he ought to have reached out to me. Hmm. The devil is a liar. He will not succeed. My daughter, you really need to be prayerful and fight for your home. The devil wants to take away the God sent that God has blessed us with. But he will not succeed because my God will surely put him to shame. Rose, you have overstayed your welcome here. You need to go back to your husband and fight for your home. What? Mama, you want me to go back there without Richard even coming to apologize? Which apology are you waiting for? You better go and fight for your home before another woman replaces you. And you know Richard is the savior of this family. He is the one paying for this house that I'm managing. He gives me money allowance and all of that. If not Richard, who knows where we would have been by now. So you better go back. But mom, this is unfair. Richard beats me up like an animal. He cheats on me with different types of girls and even rubs it in my face. I'm tired. That's why I'm telling you to be prayerful. The devil doesn't want you to enjoy your marriage. That's why he's fighting it and making Richard act this way. So that you'll be frustrated and leave. But it will not happen. What if he doesn't take me back or beat me up again for running away? I will go with you to beg him. I will talk to him. Mom, are we seriously going to beg him? Of course you know how men like Richard can be very prideful. And besides, that is the best way to follow his type of person. You can't be proven headstrong. Can I please stay for a few days before going back? No. You have overstayed your work on here. Your place is by your husband and children. No. I have said my own. Go inside. Pack your bags and let's go now. My son, please forgive my daughter for her childish behavior. I promise you that it will not repeat itself again. So I cannot correct my wife again that she has to run away for almost a week. Who does that? Please forgive her this one time. I have talked to her and I can assure you that this will not repeat itself again. Are you still sitting there? Will you go and kneel before your husband and apologize for your bad behavior? Mom, are you... Keep quiet and go beg your husband. I'm so sorry, sir. I apologize for my bad behavior, and I promise you that it will not happen again. My son, she has apologized. I beg you. Please forgive her. It's because of you who, if not... I know, please. Just forgive her. I have forgiven you. Stand up and take your bags inside. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Make sure you talk to your daughter because the next time she tries this, I will not take it lightly with her. It won't happen again. I can assure you of that. It's okay. So how are you doing? I'm doing great, my son. Thank you so much for everything. You are such a wonderful mother-in-law. I love the way you handle this matter like a mature mother that you are. And for that, I am going to increase your allowance and also send you something tangible today. Hey? Thank you so much, my son. My God will continue to bless you. I know the devil is after your marriage with my daughter, but he will not succeed in Jesus' name. Amen, ma. Please, if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to call me. I have somewhere to be right now. Please, make yourself at home. All right, my son.
Mom, I'm seriously not happy with what you just did. You told me that you were going to talk to Richard about his beating me, but you didn't say one word about it and ended up telling me to kneel and beg him. Can you believe that Richard just increased my monthly allowance and even promised to send me something today? Mom, is that all you are after? No, dear. Now, I want you to listen and listen good. I'm your mother and I cannot deceive you. I'm the best advisor you ever have. Let me tell you my own experience when I got married to your dad so that you can learn from it. Your experience? Yes. When I got married to your father, he was a chronic cheat. Though he never abused me physically, but the emotional pain he was causing me was out of this world. To the extent that he cheated on me with my best friend, I wanted to quit just like you are about to. But my mother advised me to pray to God that is the attack of the enemy to destroy my marriage. I started going to this particular ministry whose prophet specializes in marriage. He prayed for me and counseled me. And after several fasting and prayers, God delivered him from the claws of that spirit wife tormenting him and my husband became a new person. Really? Yes, dear. The devil only fights something that is worth it. That's why he is after your marriage. The prophet you went to, where can I find him? He has passed away, but I know another prophet that can help you out. He specializes in marriage issues too. Hey! What's the matter, mom? In fact, it will not be well with any spiritual wife or strange woman that wants to put her son that between you and Richard. What is it now? Can you believe Richard just made a transfer of 300k to me? Which in-law can do this? I know it's the money that's motivating you to tell me to stick to him. If he were to be poor, I know you would have advised me otherwise. Far from it, my child. Far from it. Even if Richard happens not to be that rich, I will still advise you to stay because it's a shameful thing for a woman to be divorced. It's a thing of shame for a married woman to return back to her parents' house. Marriage is for better or worse. You have to stay by your husband, no matter what. Mom, it's not that easy. I know, but I'm here for you. I will help you get through this, okay? Are you sure? Yes, dear. Trust me. Look, I want you to start midnight prayers. It works. Make sure you wake up by 12 a.m. to pray and attack all the forces against your marriage. Okay, I'll start this night. That's my girl. The only reason why I didn't beat you up mercilessly immediately you came in earlier was because of your mother. But I can assure you that the next time you try this with me again, I don't care who you are with, I will beat you mercilessly in front of them. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It will not happen again, sir. I don't care about your apology. Let this nonsense repeat itself again, and you will see what I will do to you. Now, get out of my sight. Oh God, every spiritual wife fighting my marriage, fighting my happiness in this house, let your judgment locate that spiritual wife. Any strange woman that wants to take over my home, receive fire. Oh God, please fight my battle. Give me victory. Touch the heart of my husband in Jesus' name. Wow. Caleb is a really nice man. Such a perfect gentleman. Not all men will come beg you like that. You're such a lucky girl. 
you women are even the one aiding the so-called patriarchy. Because I don't understand why you'll be making a man apologizing to a woman a big deal. If a woman apologizes, no one makes a fuss about it. But if a man goes on his knees to apologize, the whole world sees it like he has done the impossible. You've started again with this, your bullshit. You know it's not bullshit and that I am saying the truth. This one has always been a partial one and will always be. Well, that's why feminism is here to change the narrative. <laughs> hey, what narrative? Come on, Amanda, don't be a clown. This is 2021 and we all know that the area where women were subjected are over. The law even favors the woman more than the men. There are men privileges and there are female privileges. We all know this. Please tell me the female privileges that I may quickly assess them right away. Arguing with you is just like pouring water on stone. So I won't bother wasting my time. We'll have this conversation when I have the strength. I'm worried about Rose. What about Rose? I haven't heard from her for the past one week. I tried calling her but her mother wasn't connecting. I decided to visit her, but her husband said she's at her mother's house. At her mother's house? Yes. I'm suspecting that Richard is physically abusing Rose. How can you be too sure? I'm not sure. I'm just saying based on my observation. Though she hides it well, but I can't still tell. It might not be physical abuse. It might be emotional abuse. But one thing I'm sure of is that she's going through a lot with that man. Then what are we waiting for? Let's reach her and see how we can help. It won't work that way. She won't open up. She's so insecure around us that she won't dare show her flaws around us. All thanks to you. Me? How is that my fault again? You are always quick to rub her achievements and careers in her face. And because her husband has tried to let her have a life of her own, it has made her so withdrawn. Please don't guilt trip me at all. Because I will not take it. What are we supposed to talk about when we are together? As though she doesn't flaunt her husband's wealth in our faces. She does that to get back at us. Look, we are all friends and are supposed to feel at ease with each other. A friend's position or achievement shouldn't make the other feel uneasy or insecure. I have never for one day felt uneasy or insecure about her husband's wealth. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't encourage her to get the life of her own. If she's going through shit, she should be able to open up to us so that we can help her. And if she's feeling insecure, then she should go and deal with her inferiority complex. You are right, Sha. The fact that you are even blaming me is annoying, as though you don't also talk about yourself too. I'm sorry. So how do we reach out to her and know how to help her? Since she won't open up to us if we approach her, I think the best thing is to catch her on our ways. Ow. We have to have the evidence that she's going through shit before approaching her. That way, she won't be able to deny it. That's a good idea, but we still need to check up on her. I'll go to her house after work tomorrow to check if she's back. And if she's not back, then I'll go to her mother's house. That would be lovely. I wish I could go with you, but I have classes to take on to 6 p.m. It's okay. That reminds me. Our feminist empowerment program is coming up soon. So? Are you telling me so that I can be part of you people? Of course. Thank you very much. But I still cherish my sanity and mental health. Are you saying that we are all group of mad people? Don't you know? Well, at least we are mad and free, but you are sane and enslaved. <laughs> you are funny. Whatever. You better come and join us and free yourself from bondage. My mom has been sick, so I went over to her place for some time. Really? And you didn't bother to call any of us? Mabel says she has been trying to reach you all to no avail. How is your mother's health now? Hope it's nothing serious. I'm sorry for not reaching out to you guys. I was carried away by my mother's condition. Anyway, my mother is perfectly fine now. I'm glad to hear that. I just decided to drop by and check up on you. Oh, thanks a lot, sweetheart. You are the best. How is Caleb and Princess? They are fine, no. Hello, sweetheart. I'm at Rose's house. I've told you to get a cook. I don't like this disturbance, so bye. That must be Caleb. Yes, he's already disturbing me to come home and prepare dinner. Can you imagine? You should go home and cook for your husband. I've told him to get a cook, but he doesn't want to listen. I don't have strength for all this nonsense. Amanda, are you calling cooking for your husband nonsense? Hapa. It's not nonsense, but I'm just angry at the fact that men think that cooking is a woman's role and responsibility in marriage. Like, 
that's what she's good for and i'm not having any of it babe you really need to calm down now. we all know that each gender has their roles and for a woman cooking is part of her role but that doesn't mean the man can't lend a helping hand when he can it's more of your responsibility that's what the patriarchy has created to keep you in slavery so you see cooking for your husband as slavery huh. interesting you know I don't mean it that way. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I don't and don't even want to know. Anyway, I need to go prepare dinner for my own husband before he comes back. Whatever. I'll be on my way now. Let me see you off. What happened to your chick? It's nothing. I slipped and fell in the bathroom. Really? When? Some days ago. Anyway, I'm fine now. Sorry about that, dear. You should be more careful. Thanks, dear. I will. I really don't know why she's lying and doesn't want to open up to us. We really need to look out for her, but can't take any action now because we are not yet sure. You are right. If we try to openly confront her about it, she might retreat and cut off from us completely. So let's keep playing along until we are really sure. Yes, she won't be able to deny it by then. God help me that Richard is truly abusing Rose. I'll make sure I take up that matter to any level and make sure he pays for it. Babe, calm down, Jerry. The person that is even being abused isn't talking and you're already ranting. I told you my own. But I don't turn this into one feminist advocacy. Keep it out of this matter and let's undo it like normal human beings and not like feminists. So feminists are not normal human beings, right? You said so yourself. I don't have your time. Good night, Jerry. We'll talk later. All right. Good night, dear. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ma. Mama, I'm greeting you. And do I look like I'm deaf to you? I chose not to reply you. Can you please stay out of my way and stop bugging me? I'm very sorry if I bothered you in any way. Junior, let's go inside. You this witch. You think I don't know your underground plan? Excuse me? Could you just call me a witch? You heard me well. Junior, please go to your room and wait for me. I will join you soon. You think I don't know of your evil plan to separate me from my son? You are giving him attitude, so he will send me away, right? Wow. So you know exactly what you are doing. What I don't understand is why. What have I done to you that you've decided to be a thorn in my flesh? Why won't you let me enjoy my marriage in peace? Was this how your mother-in-law was tormenting you in your husband's house? Will you stop trying to play the victim here? You think you can guilt trip me for staying in my son's house the way I want? Listen and listen good. If you don't desist from this your stupid games, consider your relationship with my son over because I will have you replaced within the twinkling of an eye. Oh, really? Try me and see. Okay. I would really love to see you do that. If you excuse me, I have work to do. How is my baby doing? Sweetheart, I just came in from work and there's no word of welcome from you. Is anything the matter? My love, is everything? Go and greet your second wife and leave me the hell alone. Mabel, it hasn't gotten to this extent now. Oh, you still think I'm joking about not speaking to you, right? Baby, what exactly do you want? I don't like it when you are like this. You know exactly what to do, but you're not ready to man up. You want me to send my mother away from my own house? My God, Frank, you know what? I'm done talking to you. Excuse me. I have work to do. Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. Mom, when are you leaving? Leaving? Are you trying to send me away from your house? No, it's just that my wife is... Your wife, Mabel. Is she the one that asked you to throw me out? No, mom. So my son now listens to another person 
more than his own mother. After all the sacrifice and sufferings for you, is this how you want to pay me back? No, mom, please, it's okay. I'm not kicking you out. You can stay as long as you want. My house is your house. But why will you even let your wife control you to the extent of wanting to kick me out? Mira didn't ask me to kick you out. I was only asking when you'd be going. Please don't take it seriously and leave Mibe out of it. But she's giving you attitude, isn't she? Yes, and it's beginning to worry me. She has refused to cook for me for the past one week now. She won't even speak to me. Don't mind her. I will cook for you, okay? Let me quickly fix something for you to eat. Don't worry about that girl. I will have her replaced soon. Madam, I just saw your new trend on Twitter. You are already trending. Really? I just read that thread this morning. I have not gone to check it since then. You have gotten over a thousand engagements in three hours. Wow. You are right. You need to see how those men are attacking you. Anyways, we feminists got your back. Hello, sweetheart. I just saw your post on Twitter. Can you please take down that post? And why should I? Because you are misleading other women out there, and I don't like it. See, you can't dictate what I will and will not post. Please, I'm busy at the office. We'll talk later. Who is telling you what to post? My husband. He says I should take down the post that I'm misleading women. And are you going to take it down? Of course not. If he thinks that empowering young women out there is misleading them, then that's his own cup of tea, not mine. It's funny how these men think they can still control every aspect of our lives, including what we choose to say. Very funny. They don't know that the reign of patriarchy is gradually coming to an end. Yes, yeah, so let them choke. How about your fiancé? How is he taking your advocacy? Especially as you are the founder of the feminist union here in Nigeria. Uchi is also a feminist and supports all my advocacy. Wow, you are lucky to have a man like that. I had to open my eyes in my choice of a man. I can't be a feminist and align myself with a man that doesn't see the need for equality. And that's the mistake most feminists make. I'm going to talk about it on our next empowerment program. You are right. That's the mistake I made with Caleb. And now he won't let me rest. We are always having issues because of our difference in ideology. You can always divorce him if he's giving you a dick after all. Marriage is not an achievement. Divorce? Yes, society ties the value of a woman to being able to get married and have children. Hmm, you're right. I just came to commend you on your lovely thread. Keep it up. Your sisters got your back. Don't bother to reply to those with your games. Who has time to reply anyone? All I know is that I have put my thoughts out there. They can hit their head on the wall for all I care. That's my girl. I will be in my office. All right, love. Hi, how's work going? It's going well, ma. Good. Excuse me, ma. Can I have a minute of your time? Is anything the matter? Nothing. It's just that there is something that I need to get off my chest by telling you. I'm listening. I know it's not really my business, but I just need to tell you. I'm all ears. I know you are a feminist and even part of their union, but I'm not really concerned about that. My concern is with the leader of your union. You mean Ada? Yes. What about her? I have noticed that the both of you have been really close lately, and it's giving me worries. Ada is a pretender and a homebreaker. A friend of mine who was also a feminist and a close friend of Ada was... Please, can you stop it right there? I really hate it when people don't know how to mind their business and stay in their place. I'm sorry, ma. I just thought I should tell you who that woman really is. I don't want to hear it. I know you are just bitter about my being a feminist and you think the best way to go about it is by speaking ill of someone. It's not like that, ma. This should be the first and last time you will ever stop me to say something like this. The next time you do, you will have yourself to blame. Am I clear? Yes, ma. Good. Now focus on your work and mind your own business. Uh, 
I beg, am I the only one or did anyone else see the trend that Caleb's wife made on Twitter today? What trend? So you don't know. She has been trending since morning. What exactly did she write her about? I'm just pitying Caleb because I wonder how he's living with such toxic woman. I beg, tell us what exactly she said. She was talking about how women should not submit to their husbands and how submission is not natural. That's why it's there. <laughs> Omo, this woman is misleading you girls. Oh. What nonsense. And Caleb isn't doing anything about it. I know he's trying his best. Being that Amanda is a very stubborn woman. He's not trying his best. He can easily beat that feminism out of her body. Not every word is a woman bitter like you. Guy, better respect yourself. Did I ever tell you that I beat any woman? You don't need to tell me, I know. Is this guy even okay? It's okay, guys. Guy, when Richard says he will beat the feminine out of Amanda, he's speaking figuratively and not literally. Richard is not a woman bitter. Is this guy drunk? I beg, leave this guy. You know seen a clown him be. No wonder you are not able to secure any girl for yourself. <laughs> At least, I'm not abusing someone's daughter. The one you have secured for yourself. How have you been treating her? I am leaving. I can't sit here and take this rubbish from this clown. Guy, you never reach like that now. Nah. Sit down. Now nah, cruise the guy they catch. It's only guilty people that run when nobody is pursuing them. Go and beat your wife for telling me that you are a woman beater. MD. I am out of here. Guy, what did they do you now? Which one be woman beater we just the talk since morning? Have you seen him beat his wife? Or is the drink affecting your head? I've said my own. You are a case. Where is that woman? Rose. Sir, are you back? You are very stupid for asking me that question. I, 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 I am very sorry. Is anything the matter? Your food is ready. Don't you dare play ignorance with me. What did you tell MD about us? I did not tell MD anything. Are you ready to tell me the truth or do you still want to play hide and seek with me? I don't know what you're talking about. Then how in the world does he know that I beat you? How am I supposed to know that? So you still have the effrontery to keep telling me lies, right? After I deal with you today, you will learn not to discuss our matter with any of my friends again. Why will you go to my phone and take down my post without my permission? I told you to take it down yourself, but you didn't listen, so I decided to help you out. Without my consent? Is it because I let you know my password? What kind of nonsense is this? Can't you see the damage you are causing? You have been trending on social media since yesterday. You need to see the insults that is being hurled at you. I have even become a laughing object at my place of work just because of you. So you let the mocking of ignorant people get to you when you know I'm advocating for a right cause. You know what? I think it's high time you left that toxic union and cut off that leader of yours because your friendship with her is making you worse day by day. <laughs> Hey, says who? You don't know how much of a clown you sound right now. The thing is that you don't even have any atom of respect and regard for me again. Imagine you opening your mouth to call your husband a clown. You are the one not respecting my own choice and decision. Respect me and I'll respect you. Respect is reciprocal. You don't expect me to respect you simply because you are a man. You are leaving that union whether you like it or not. If you try to tamper with my business or friendship in any way, consider this marriage over. What? Are you okay? You heard me. I've heard enough of this nonsense. What has my wife turned into? I knew she was a feminist before getting married to her. But she was not as toxic as she is now. This useless union, plus her friendship with that their stupid leader, is really taking a toll on her brain. She is not thinking and acting straight anymore. She has abandoned all her responsibilities in this house as my wife and now even performed both her duties. Cooking is a problem. Taking care of our child has become an issue of debate. Gosh, and replacing her is not an option because I love her very much. I can't afford to lose her. 
The worst part is that I don't even know what to do to get my wife back. God, please, help me. I'm so confused right now. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. He asked me to leave the union. For what reason? That I don't respect him and his decisions. Like he respects yours? That's what I told him. Look, if this man is giving you a dick, you can as well divorce him. Our value isn't tied to asking a man's name. I've told him that if he tries anything funny, I'm going to walk out. That's my girl. Now you are talking. I noticed that you have taken down the post on Twitter. Caleb did. What? Without your consent? Yes. We had a huge quarrel concerning that yesterday. I really feel for you, sister. You are really going through a lot. It's always one issue to another whenever I'm with him. Always wanting me to submit to him, which I can't. If it's too much, you know what to do, don't you? Of course. My mom is right. A strange woman is after my marriage and doesn't want me to enjoy my marriage in peace. That evil spirit wants to take over my home, but I will not leave. The devil will not win this battle. My God will fight for me and surely give me victory. I'm sure Richard is under some sort of manipulation. Mommy, it's worse this time. I can't even go out. My whole body is spinning me. You need to take a look how swollen my face is. Hey, does Richard wants to kill you for me? Well, what exactly did you do that made him beat you like this? He accused me of talking to his friend about the fact that he beats me, which I've not. I try as much as possible to hide it from everyone, including my friends. Are you sure you didn't tell his friend anything? I didn't. I won't be lying to you now. Although there was a day his friend came to visit and noticed uh, some belt marks on my arm. He jokingly asked if Richard beats me and I dismissed the question. I think that's when he started suspecting. But I never opened my mouth to tell him. The devil is indeed after your marriage. Hope you are putting this thing in prayers and waking up to pray every midnight like I told you. Yes, mom. I don't miss my prayers. That is good. I'm also praying for you. The devil won't win this battle. I serve a God that doesn't fail. I know this is just a time of trial for you and it will surely end in praise. I hope so, mom. I hope so. I know so. Please be strong for me, okay? I will, mom. I'm going to send you the address of a particular ministry and a man of God. He's a real man of God. I'm sure once you go to him, every spirit tormenting your home will be destroyed. Please send me the location of this ministry. Let me know where my problem is coming from. I will, dear. Please take care of yourself. I'll come see you this weekend to know how you are doing. All right, mom. Mabel, you didn't even call to inform me that you'll be dropping by today. Jesus, who did this to you? Nobody did anything to me. It was an accident. Enough of lies, bros. I'm not a kid. This is clearly as a result of several blows. Stop lying to me. I've told you it's an accident. What else do you want to hear? Please talk to me. I'm your friend. What's the essence of friendship if you can't even confide in each other? He has been eating you, hasn't he? Who? What are you talking about? Rose, tell me the truth. Please. If I tell you, please promise me you won't tell anyone. Not even your husband. I won't. I promise. I also don't want Amanda to know about this for now. Before she brings her feminist union into the matter and makes it a case study all over social media. No one will know about this. You can count on me for that. Richard has been hitting me. For how long? Since we got married. How come you kept it all to yourself? You shouldn't keep things like this to yourself. It's dangerous. Richard will skin me alive if I tell anyone. Although my mom knows. And what action has she taken concerning this? She has told me to pray and also told me the ministry I'll visit concerning this. She said it's a spiritual matter. What? You mean your mother sees you in this condition and the least she could do for you is to tell you to pray? I think she's right too. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. When we newly got married, 
He treats me well, but all of a sudden, he changed to what I don't understand. That's because you guys are newly married. Everyone was still pretending. Now we are showing you his true color. Babe, this is his real color. So what will you have me do? We have to report this to human rights immediately. No, no, please. I don't want to lose my marriage, please. I beg you. Remember you promised me that you won't tell anyone. But these people will help you and make sure that Richard pays for his sin. But that will mean me losing my marriage. I can't go back to my mother's house and admit failure in my marriage. I must stay and fight for my home. Please tell me you're joking. No, I'm not. Okay, so can you tell me what your plan to save yourself from this mystery is? I'll just be praying as my mother told me to. And we'll also go to that ministry she recommended me. I know God will intervene. Good afternoon, ma. Please, who are you and how may I help you? Frank's mom brought me here. What for? If I may ask. No need to explain yourself, dear. I will explain on your behalf. Since you have decided to cause my son's sadness because his mother is living with him, I have decided to bring a girl that will make him happy. In my house? You mean my son's house? Which is also my house. And mine too because I'm his mother and I have the upper hand. You know what? Let Frank come back home because I can't phantom this madness. Look, if you know what's good for you, you better pack your things and get out of my house before I go in there and come out. Nonsense. She's not going anywhere. She's here to stay. Instead of her to go, you will go. Don't mind her. Feel at home. This is your husband's house, okay? Yes, ma. That's my girl. Now go into the kitchen and prepare something nice for your husband. The first wife has decided to go on a cooking strike. She wants to starve my son. But thank God you are here. You will take over. All right, ma. I'll be in the kitchen. That's my girl. Welcome, sir. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm Fulaki, your new wife. What did you just see? Your mom brought me here to take care of you. Will you hold it, dear? Are you high or something? Welcome home, son. What's the mean of all this, mom? This is the new girl I brought for you since Mabel is already misbehaving. I don't want my son to be unhappy for any reason. That is why I brought you someone that will be making you happy. Did I ever tell you I needed someone to make me happy? But you were complaining about how Mabel worries you. That doesn't mean I needed someone else. In fact, where is Mabel? Where is my wife? Mabel. Mabel. On a more serious note, Frank, what's going on in our house? What's going on in our marriage? What's all this madness? To be honest with you, I don't know anything about this. I just came in and met her. I'm equally surprised as you are. It's not about not knowing. It's about what you are going to do now the situation is like this. What action are you going to take as a man of this house? Give me a minute. Let me go speak to my mom. I will deal with this. Frank, just so you know, that if your mom and dad sin doesn't leave this house, I will leave this house for all of you. my sacrifice to make sure you are who you are today this is how you have chosen to repay me back frank where your father died i suffered to send you to school i suffered hunger pain and nakedness just to make sure you don't lack and this is how you want to pay me back you want to allow another woman who doesn't know what we went through before you became successful push me out of your house but mom 
Is there anything you want that I don't give you? You have a beautiful house, which I built for you alone. But you are always here most of the time. But I want to spend time with my son. You are all I have got in this world. I want to make sure you are always okay. Which is more important to me than any car or house or money you give to me. I understand, mom. But you have overstayed. My welcome. Isn't it? Oh, do. Please don't let all my efforts be in vain. My own son I have suffered for. Things have overstayed my welcome. May we not give birth to ungrateful children. Mom, please, it's okay. Please stop crying. Please. You've not overstayed your welcome. Please stop crying. Senior wife, good morning all. Good morning, love. What's that thing you doing in our house? I thought you said you were going to speak to your mom and Andrew Hevelton last night. What are the both of them still doing here? Sweetheart, it's not that easy. My mom started crying and all of that. That alone destabilized me. But that girl will definitely go. I promise you that. Gosh, stupid of me to assume you will have a man up. Baby, where are you going to? Mabel. Mabel. Hello, MD. Our wife, this why you called me this early morning. Hope all is well. All is not well, oh. I followed your advice and things has gone from bad to worse. Hey, wo, you followed my advice. Which one of them? Are you for real? Remember the day you came to my house and saw my mother-in-law? I told you what I was passing through. You told me to change it for Frank and set standard. I've done that, but the situation is worsening. Ah. I just gave you an advice now. I didn't say you should take it. Why did you take it? Are you serious right now? Damn, I should have known better than to listen to you in the first place. Someone cannot even play with you again. So what happened? You are not serious. Look, I'm in no mood for joke. Frank's mom brought another girl into the house. And Frank can't man up to send her away. What is wrong with that guy, sir? That your husband needs serious beat, you know? Are you still at home? Frank should have left for work by now. This is what you will do. When Frank comes home tonight, pack your bus and tell him you are leaving. If he begs, don't listen until he sends that girl away. If he doesn't, leave the house. He will definitely send her away and come back to you. Are you sure? I don't know. I'm only giving you an advice. I didn't say you should take it though. You know I don't have sense. And that's why I don't have a wife yet. <laughs> You're such a clown. All right, thank you. I'll talk to you later. Are you mad? What the hell are you doing in my matrimonial bed? Sorry, yo, but mommy asked me to come and feel my husband's bed. Before I close my eyes and open it, will you get out of my bed before I tear you to pieces? Is it because I've been keeping quiet? She's not going anywhere. She will soon legally be his wife, and this is where she belongs. This is madness. You will see correct madness if we try anything funny. I and Folake will beat the hell out of you. And Frank is not here to save you. So you better respect yourself and leave. This is not happening. No. I have to be dreaming. This has to be a dream. Mama, why do you want to destroy my own? Your son's own? See question, no. Don't worry. I will answer you very soon if you don't shut up your mouth and get out of here. What's happening here? I was just waiting for you to return before I leave your house for you and your two wives. This has to be some sort of joke. You can't leave. My son, leave her and let her leave. I have a more beautiful wife for you. Mom, can you stop it already? My wife is not leaving this house for anybody. What is the meaning of all this nonsense? How dare you raise your voice at me and disrespect me in front of these girls? I'm your mother and you will listen to me and do as I say. 
Falake is not going anywhere. If Mabel can't deal with another woman being the second wife, then she's free to go. Oh, that's so cute. Mommy is scolding a five-year-old son for being disobedient. I'm out of here. When you're ready to be a man, you can call me. No, please don't go, please. Maybe I'll come back. I love you. Please don't leave me, please. You better come back here and let your new wife take care of you. My dear, go and set the dining for your husband. He will be very hungry after he's done with his meaningless pursuit. So you mean you have packed your things out of his house and left for good? What? I'm telling you. No, that's too bad. And I am even complaining of Caleb. Omo, yours is worse, so I can't deal with a mommy's boy at all. Amanda, Caleb is a good man and doesn't have any problem. You're the one causing all the problem with your feminist bullshit. Well, any man that doesn't see the need for equality is a problem to me. Wow, look, Amanda, I'll call you later. All right, dear. Please take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Mom, this is not right. You literally brought another woman into my home and chased my wife out of my house. Point of correction. I didn't chase your wife out of the house. She chose to leave. I only brought another woman to make you happy. Since Mabel is making you unhappy. But I don't want another woman. Why can't you understand? You are beginning to come in between me and my wife. And what about Mabel trying to come in between us? If you be very honest with yourself, you know that Mabel has always loved and respected and accommodated you as a mother-in-law. But you are the one always crossing your boundaries. So, I'm beginning to cross boundaries in my son's house. Is that what you are trying to say? No. You know what I'm talking about, mom. Listen to me, son. What a child cannot see while standing, an elder will see while sitting. I'm your mother and I have seen more days than you. I've had more experience and above all, I care about you more than anyone else in the world, including Mabel. I want your happiness. But you're not making me happy right now. Your actions are frustrating me. You think it is, but in the long run, you will thank me later. Let Mabel go. Folake is a very good woman. She will make you happy. And above all, not try to come in between us. Why don't you seem to get it? I'm not a child anymore. Leave me to make my choice and decision. I want that gay out of my house before I return. It's now you remember that you are not a child anymore. You are still my child and we do as I say. Folake is not going anywhere. You can't do that. I'm the man of this house. <laughs> Look at who is claiming one of the house. Please go and sit down. This is so unfair, mom. This is not fair. Good morning, love. How was your night? Don't. I don't get you. I should be... Don't what? Don't you dare come close to me. I want you to go in there, pack your things, and get out of my house. What? Why? By the time I come back to this house, I don't want to see you here. But why don't you like me enough? Am I not more beautiful than your wife? Shut your mouth, and don't you dare mention my wife ever again. Just be out of my house before I return. My life is in such a mess right now. I don't know how to go about fixing it. I can't throw my mom out of my house. It would break her and she might fall sick. She will even see me as an ingrid and wicked child. The worst is that Mabel is not even picking my calls. I can't afford to lose my wife because of my mother. I love Mabel so much. I know where she is. I will go and beg her. I know she will be back. I hope my leaving the house will make Frank finally man up. If not, I'll just give up on him completely. Has that scene and your mother left the house? 
No, I'm in a really tight corner right now. Then we have nothing to talk about. And don't you try to touch me. If you love and respect me enough, you won't have the infantry to come here and still spew this trash. You know I love and respect you more than anything in the world, even more than my mom. Um, I wasn't expecting the last line though. Please, just give me another chance. Let me prove it to you. You have to prove it to me before I come back to that house. I've given you lots of chances, but all you do is disappoint me each time. I don't have any more chance to waste. If your mother and that thing doesn't move out of your house, then we don't have anything to talk about. Have a lovely day. Sweetheart, how are you doing? Please don't be annoyed. I will send you the money today. But you promised to send it yesterday. I don't like this promise and faith. You know what? I will make it two million. That's my man. I love you so much. I love you too. You will see the money today unfailingly. All right, love. I will call you later, okay? Okay, bye. Really? Don't you even have any atom of respect for me? I am the head of this house, and I don't owe you any respect. You are the one that holds me respect because you are under me and I provide all your needs. You sit in front of me and profess love to another woman and you still have the guts to tell me that you owe me no respect. How shameless can you be, Richard? How dare you open your mouth and call me shameless? Have you lost it? I'm tired of you treating me like a trash. Don't you get it? I'm human and I deserve even if it's a little respect as your wife. <laughs> he did it again, mom. He did what? He beat me up again. Richard beat me up again. Again? What happened this time? Richard has no shame and even respect for me whatsoever. He was calling his side chick in my presence. And when I told him how shameless he was, he started hitting me. You called your husband shameless? But why would you? It came out unexpectedly. I was just sick and tired of the whole thing. You know how hot tempered your husband is. You should learn to overlook everything and focus on God to fight this battle for you. Mom, can you believe he was promising to send two million naira to that stupid side chick? What? I knew it. A strange woman wants to finish your husband's money. My dear, you need to stand up and fight for your home. You know Richard is all we have. If another woman takes over him and his money, we are finished though. Sometimes you make it seem like all you care about is the money and what I'm going through doesn't really concern you. Don't you dare say that. I'm trying all I can to help you and all you can say is this nonsense. When I was in my husband's house and was going through shit, I didn't have a mother to talk to. So you better be grateful. Are you still praying as I told you? Yes, mom. I don't miss a night. And have you gone to see the prophet? Not yet, mom. And what are you waiting for? The devil is fighting your home and you are still taking chances. I'll go this week. Make sure you do so. Don't worry there. The devil won't win this war. Richard will definitely come back to his senses. I'll be praying for you too. Please take care of yourself and try your best to stay out of his way. Don't say or try to do anything that will make him lose his temper. Alright mom, I'll call you later. God, please, if I've offended anyone in the past that's making my marriage a living hell, please have mercy on me and forgive me. I don't deserve this treatment I'm getting from Richard. Please, if anyone is behind this, please fight for me. I'm sick and tired of being used as a punching bag every now and then. God, please, arise and fight my battle for me. What kind of nonsense is this? This woman keeps on doing everything to annoy me. I go out to Ozu and when I come back to rest, a loud prayers will not let me sleep in peace. What nonsense. This has to stop. Oh 
God, fight my battle. Give me victory. Deliver me from my enemies. Will you stop this madness? What's the matter? This madness of disturbing me while praying has to stop. If you can't be civil enough to pray quietly, then you will stop this prayer completely because I have had enough. In fact, I don't want to see you coming here to pray again. But why? When did you become an atheist? I have spoken as the head of this house, and that is final. If you try to disobey my orders, you will have yourself to blame. But this doesn't make any sense. We are both Christians, and prayer is a vital part of being a Christian. Try to pray and receive the beating of your life. Good evening, sir. You are welcome. Good evening. Please, who are you? I am Mr. John, the new chef. Madam hired me. Your dinner would be ready in a moment. A new chef? Yes, sir. Please, where is my wife? She should be in her room, sir. Okay. Sweetheart, you're back. Why will you employ a chef without my knowledge? Oh, about that. I've always told you that I wanted a chef and don't have the strength to cook your meals. But you always pay deaf ears, so I decided to get a chef by myself. Please, what exactly are you doing now that you can't cook? You have been back from work for more than three hours. What exactly is hindering you from cooking? I've told you that I can't come home and enter kitchen. I can't. I don't have the strength. Besides, what's wrong with having a chef? Is it until I kill myself for you before I become a good wife? I don't want a cook. See me see Wahalao. I employed a cook with my own money to free myself from stress and you are complaining. You can send the cook away if you want, but don't expect me to cook any meals. Just get ready to be hungry all the time because I'm not about to start entering that kitchen anytime soon. What exactly is wrong with you? I'm the one paying. So what are you worried about? Yours is just to eat. The chef is even a professional one. A far better cook than I am. I want meals made by my wife. I think it's high time you men break out from that mentality. Look, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Caleb, what's the matter? Please, we need to talk. By this time, is anything the matter? Please, it's about this your feminism of a thing. It's getting out of hand. How do you mean? This is not the Amanda I got married to. You have become something else ever since you joined that union. Something else? Yes, this feminism of a thing has made you become so irresponsible. You no longer take responsibilities. You expect me to play my role and also play yours. The worst is that you no longer respect or regard me. I am becoming sick and tired of all this. Please, what role of mine are you playing? Everything. You don't have time for me and my daughter. I'm the one always there for her. I prepare and take her to school. I help her with her homework when I am back from work and even have to fix dinner for myself because you feel it's not your duty. Wait a minute, what exactly is wrong with you men? So you think you deserve some accolades for taking care of your own child? What is wrong with you doing these things? Please, what exactly is your duty as a wife? Companionship, that's my duty. We are both equals and no one is the head over the other. So you don't expect me to slave myself for you. I do things when I choose to or when it's convenient for me. If you are being realistic, you will know that what you just said is not possible. Are you even listening to yourself? Is there any organization without a head or a leader? Everyone cannot be the leader. And the same thing applies in family. That's what patriarchy has taught you, men, for years. But feminism is here to change it. Two people can lead a family just as two pilots can fly a plane. The woman doesn't have to submit. Look, I don't wake you up by this time to start a gender war with you. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and how much I want the woman I married back. Please, create time for me and our daughter and try and show me some respect. I'm sorry if I have not been available. I love you too and you mean a lot to me. If I mean a lot to you, then prove it to me. Please, I'm tired of having unnecessary arguments with you all the time. I know what you mean there. I'm equally tired of them. I can't remember when last we talked like this. I've really missed you. I've missed you more.
Frank, where do you think you are going to? Have you greeted me this morning? How dare Frank move out of this house without talking to me? I tried to talk to him and he has the guts to snub me. It's like he's already growing wings. He will come back here and meet me. Why haven't you touched your meal? Are you not hungry? Look, I know you might be missing Mabel, but I assure you that Folake is better. Just give her a chance. I'm your mother and I know what's best for you. Why are you not replying me? Why the silence? Say something now. Is there something else that is bothering you? Where are you going by this time of the night? Frank! Frank! Come back here! I'm talking to you! Babe, what's up with you? I just called it off with my fiancé. What? Why? He started seeing reasons why I shouldn't be a feminist. But he has always been supportive. Not anymore. He recently met someone that changed his perspective. Ever since then, it has been from one argument to another. I just had to end it. Just like that? That's why I keep teaching women. Don't let these men make you feel that. Your world revolve around them. If they are giving you a day, do away with them. After all, that's what they do to us. Wow, I really admire your courage, sis. Anyways, I guess that's why you are our leader. For you to be a feminist in a patriarchal world, you have to be strong, my dear. And I know you have that strength in you. Look, if Caleb is making your life miserable, as a result of your choice to be a feminist, you can always leave, and you know I'm here for you. I know, but I don't think it has gotten to that extent. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Guy, you need to calm down. My life is over. But your mommy is there for you now. Go back to her. It's not funny. <laughs> it is very funny, oh. Shabby, each time I teach you about being a mommy's boy, you would always attack me. Now, take a look at your life. All I wanted was to make my mother happy. I gave her everything she wanted, always at her beak and cold, but she never seemed satisfied and is always quick to remind me of how ungrateful I am each time I try to do things my own way. At the expense of your own family, sorry to say, but your mother is ungrateful and selfish. Maybe it won't even speak to me at all. You know what to do. Why didn't you just do it? I should send my mother out of my house. It's not that easy. This is what you will do. Please stop it. I'm tired and not feeling too well. What do you mean by that? I think I've got a fever. I'm so weak right now and my head aches. And how does that prevent you from giving me what I want? You had the whole day to take care of yourself. And now that I want what is mine, you are trying to make excuses. Please stop it. I'm serious about not feeling well. Why don't you want to understand? Have I ever refused you before? Are you mad? How dare you try to deny me of my rights? You are my property and we do as I wish. I'm not a property. Please stop this madness. We will see about that. Hello, Mabel. Rose. What's the matter? Please, can you come and see me tomorrow morning? Are you okay? I don't like the way you sound. Please, can you tell me what the problem is? Please, I can't talk about it now. Can you come tomorrow morning? Sure, I'll be there. Thanks a lot. This is rubbish. I'm reporting your husband immediately. Please don't. I beg you. I just called you because I needed someone to talk to and not for you to call the police. Okay, I'll not call the police. But you're definitely leaving this house today. You need to leave this house before this animal kills you. He's not an animal. He's my husband and I will not tolerate you insulting him. Rose, so you're still defending him. I can't believe this. I'm not defending him. His actions are wrong, but he's still my husband. And I'm not leaving my matrimonial home. I'll stay and fight for my home. Rose, I'm not asking you to divorce him. 
All I'm asking you to do is look for another apartment and move in for the meantime. I can get you a good job that will be sustaining you financially. You can stay at the safety of your home and fight for your home. This man will kill you. What's the difference? Moving out of his house is still the same as divorcing him. What if I move out and he marries another woman? At least you will still be alive. It's either you move out of here and remain alive or stay here and be beaten to death. God forbid. I will not be beaten to death. Can you stop being negative for once? Just being realistic here. A man that was able to rape and beat you up, even when you told him that you are not feeling fine, is capable of doing anything. Richard is an animal and will tear you up with his claws if you don't wisen up. Enough with the insult. Just because I confided in you doesn't give you the right to call him an animal. You'd have moved out of your husband's house, Uncle. You think you can come here and advise me? Like your marriage is perfect. I don't blame you. I blame myself for trying to help you. Yes, I moved out of my husband's house, but Frank is still at my door every day, begging me to come back, and he's not a human beater like your animal husband. I'll be on my way now. This will be the first and the last time you ever call me on this matter. Enjoy your miserable life. Nonsense. You need to calm down now. Being paranoid will not solve the issue. How can you tell me to calm down when I have not seen my son and grandson for the past two days? What if he has been kidnapped or has been involved in an accident? I don't think so. I think he purposely left this house because of us. He can't do that. The Frank I know can't run away from his mom. He has not grown to that extent. If he says so, but I believe it immediately. I cannot continue to stay here. You ungrateful idiot. So I brought you here to give you a better life and you want to leave me now. Your son has gone after his wife and you expect me to remain here. Please, I can't do this anymore. I need to get a life of my own. I advise you also to let your son be. If you continue this way, you might lose him completely. You ingrate. My God will punish you. Idiot. It shall never be well with you. You think you are smart, right? I will show you. Let me find my son. I'm coming back for you. Babe, I have good news for you. You won't believe it. I just got you a deal that will change your life for good. Are you serious? Guess what? You know I'm not good at guessing, so just tell me. There's this guy that works with this modeling agency. The biggest agent in Africa. He saw your picture on my phone and fell in love with you. He doesn't even know that you are married. He took your picture to the agents and guess what? They want to sign you to become one of their models. They have been gushing over your beautiful body. Really? Yes, dear. Please, which modeling agency is that? You wouldn't believe it. Just tell me. Exquisite modeling agency. What? That's the biggest modeling agency in Africa. How come? They want to have a meeting with you to determine how the contract is going to be. Babe, you'll be going places if you accept this deal. And what's more, you won't be needing this job. Because a shoot with this agency will pay you triple your salary. I'm short of words right now. But there's a little problem. Which is? My husband. Are you kidding me right now? This job will change your life. You are talking about your husband. Remember that you have always wanted to be a model. And now that the opportunity has presented itself, you want to let go of that dream because of a husband? Of course not. There's no way I'm going to let go of this deal. I'm just saying... Good. I've given the girl your number, so he's going to call you. I think the meeting will be tomorrow or so. Babe, I'm so happy for you. I still can't believe it. Anyways, let me meet with them before I get excited. They might meet me in real life and not like what they see. That's not possible. You're a beautiful woman and they won't be able to resist your charms. I hope so. I know so. Babe. I had the meeting with them and I cannot believe it. What is it? The contract is overwhelming. The pay is something else. I told you that it would work out. Have you signed the contract? Not yet. I told them that I will go through the details and get back to them. Are you kidding me? This is a one in a lifetime opportunity you are joking with. I know. It's just that this job deals with a lot of traveling. My first shoot with them is going to be in South Africa. And so? Don't tell me you are considering what your husband will say. 
Sometimes I doubt if you are a real feminist. Of course I am. In fact, I am signing that contract immediately. That's my girl. This calls for celebration. Yes, so we'll celebrate at the office tomorrow. In fact, after signing the contract, you will not be needing the job anymore. Of course, I'll tender my resignation letter as soon as I sign the contract. I'm so happy for you, dear. Have you told your husband? No, but I'll tell him this night. All right, dear. We'll see you tomorrow. Sure. Bye. There is no way I'm allowing you to become a model. What's wrong with your current job? You know this job pays triple of what my current job pays me. Plus, it has always been my childhood dream to become a model. If you love me as you claim, you will not try to stop me from actualizing my dreams. Please, spare me that bullshit. What about me? What about our daughter? So you want to leave us here while you travel around the globe, posing nude for the camera? You know we can always make arrangements for that. I won't be away all the time. And what's more, I'll become super rich when I start this job. You know money is not our problem. I'm doing just fine in my business. And you are also doing well in your job. We can afford whatever we want. You are just being selfish and greedy. You don't care about your responsibility toward your family. Because if you do, you won't be thinking about this, not to talk of taking the job. You are the one who is selfish. You want to stop me from attaining my goals because of your ego. And I am not going to let it happen. I am taking that job whether you like it or not. I think I have tolerated you enough. If you try me, you will see the other side of me. You have been saying this countless times. Show me the other side of you. Let me see. Amanda, don't try me. Don't try me. You are pushing me. I have tolerated you enough in this house. Actions, they say, speak louder than words. I don't have anything to say to you till the time comes. I have signed the contract already and ready to start work. I'm so proud of you, dear. This calls for celebration. Hope you will be available later this evening so that we can all go out and celebrate. Of course, I'll tender my resignation letter today. My first shoot will be next week at South Africa. I'm so excited. I'm more than happy for you. I wish I had a beautiful banging body like you to become a model. Also bought it as well. You are very lucky and blessed. Thanks a lot, dear. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. Thanks for your support and constant motivation. Don't mention what are friends for. You have all my support, dear. You better don't try to forget me when you become famous and start making millions. Of course not. I can't buy the finger that fed me now. Now you be my one by one. I hope so. Anyways, I'll be in my office. I'll see you later in the evening. Okay, dear. Oh, my. I really need to think about my life. Oh, I know people underrate me. Looking at me as if I don't have sense. But that doesn't mean I won't look for my own babe. I deserve a woman in my life too. My friends are already married with children. Why I am here drinking away my life? I know marriage is a scam, but I want to experience it. I cannot be advising my friends and yet I don't have a relationship of my own. I'm single because no girl wants me and not because I want to. All these classy babes keep turning me down. Ah, I see if there is something wrong with me. Or is there something wrong with me? Does it mean that Frank has already left this house because of me? It can't be. He can't just grow overnight to the level of abandoning his house because of me. I've been here for more than a week without any trace of him. Hmm. I think this Falake girl is right. Maybe he has gone after that stupid wife of his that wants to ruin our relationship. I can't continue to stay here. What's the essence of staying here when no one is around? I will pack my things and go back home. But I will come back when they return. They can't stay out of their house forever. They will surely come back and I'll be back for them. Baby, please come back home. I promise to be the best husband ever. I'll never allow anyone, not even my mother, come in between us. Are you sure that your mother has really left the house? I can swear on anything. She has left for real. Please come back home. I need you by my side again. I really love you. My life had not been complete since you left. I'm very sorry for allowing my mother to control me. Please forgive me and come back. Stand up. Not until you forgive me. I forgive you. So can you stand up? 
Not until you promise to come home with me today. I will go home with you today. Thank you so much. You don't know how happy you've made me. Please, let's go home immediately. Not so fast. Why? What's the matter? What if we go home and your mother comes back? She won't. And if she comes, I won't let her in. I promise you that my mother will not come in between us ever again. Hmm. If they so, because I'm not going to correlate it again. You have my word. Please go get your things and let's go. Alright. Give me a minute. Has your mother tried to come back? No, she hasn't. You have to be strong this time because she's definitely going to come back. If you like, give in again. I will not even put mouth in your matter again. I won't. She can't continue to detect how I live my life. Not anymore. Better. So what about you? Now so you won't live your life. Aren't you going to settle down? When all these girls I approach keep turning me down, what do you expect me to do? I cannot go and keep myself now. Why won't they turn you down when you don't want to be serious with your life? You are always broke and even the little money you get, you spend them at the bar every night. If a classy girl accepts you now, what can you offer her? What do you mean, what can I offer her? I will offer her my love, of course. <laughs> Indeed, because now only love she won't chop, Abby. You need to be serious with your life, especially with your finance, and also work on yourself to attract the type of girl you want. In fact, let's not deceive ourselves. You can't attract those type of girls, so you better respect yourself and go for your type. Which is? Your type. Like that's your neighbor. I've forgotten her name. Please remind me. Hope is not in Kechi you are referring to as my type. Exactly. She's your perfect type. That reminds me. How is Nkechi? Is she still dating you? Thunder fire you and that Nkechi together. It's like something is wrong with you. If it's play, hmm, better stop it because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sing the truth. Guys, stop it. It's not funny at all. Look at me now. Nah. AOMD. Stoop low to marry that village girl called Nkechi. But it's the same village girl you run to whenever you are broke and hungry. Nkechi is a hard working woman. She's doing well in her business and above all, she likes you. So she's the perfect woman for you. I reject it. She just a neighbor and friend, but cannot be my wife. So now only me go marry village girl, Abby. Because that's what fits you. Village girl did not fit you. It's me village girl fit. Don't have fire your left kidney, dear. No, no, nonsense. In fact, I'm going. This insult is too much. Bye. Guy, you did go. You never is that level now. So even Frank is saying that that village girl fits me. I don't blame him. I blame myself for even stupid solo to associate myself with that girl. From today, I will start giving her levels so that everyone will know their level. Now wow, I'm so hungry. And that's the reason I went to Frank's house. Now that I have left there in anger, who will give me food? I cannot go to that girl in Kechi because I have decided to start giving her levels. In fact, let me go and drink Gary. I cannot come and kill myself. Man shall not live by bread alone. MD, my guy. Good morning, no. Where are you going to this early morning? Are you not the one I'm glitting? So you are serious about giving me revel, Sabi? Okay, oh. since that's how you want it, let everybody be staying on their own now. I can't believe this. You have to believe it. Your girl is on her way to becoming a supermodel. What about Caleb? Is he okay with it? Please, let's leave Caleb aside. We'll talk about that later. I have called Rose already. I want you girls at my house this evening so that we can celebrate. All right, there. I'll be there. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. See you later. But seriously, Amanda, don't you think you should leave this modeling of a thing since Caleb threatened to leave you if you do? I think so, too. Besides, 
What's wrong with your former job? You were doing just fine there and seemed happy with the job. I really don't understand where this craving to become a model came from. Look, I didn't tell you girls to come here to discourage me. I called you here so that we can celebrate, but you girls are bent on ruining it with your negative energy. We are happy that you'll be earning more, but at the same time, we are concerned about you and Caleb. I think you are pushing the man to the wall, and he might leave you for real this time. Let him leave if he wants to. My value isn't tied to being married. If he feels threatened, then he's free to go. Amanda, don't you love Caleb anymore? I do, but I'm not going to let love hinder my career. I just hope you know what you are doing. I just hope you will not regret it. This feminist union you joined has really changed you. Are we going to be happy for me and celebrate or are we going to keep ranting and complaining? Let's celebrate there. I'm happy for you. Nevertheless, and I pray everything works out fine. Okay then, let me go get the drinks and give you girls the full gist of how I got this job. Please do. I really want to hear the gist. I'm curious. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Good evening, sir. And where are you coming from? I went to see Amanda. That crazy feminist. Um, um... Now, listen to me and listen good. I don't want you to associate yourself with that woman again. But why? Amanda is not a bad person. And besides, we've been friends all this while. Why will you stop me from seeing her? I can see that she's already teaching you how to question my authority in this house. If not, you will not stand there and question my orders. I'm only expressing myself and I see nothing wrong in that. Will you shut up your mouth and go get me my dinner? Let me see you ever going to see that winch. Then you will know the stuff I am made of. Nonsense. Get out of my sight. What did I do to deserve this? Eh? What exactly did I say wrong? Are you still talking? By the time you wake up, I will be on my flight to South Africa. Sorry I didn't wake you. I didn't want to disturb you. I will call you later. I love you. Ha! So Amanda still had the guts to go for that job despite everything I said. I can't take this anymore. I'm seriously considering packing my things and leaving Richard for the meantime. I don't think I can take this anymore. Richard hates me at the slightest provocation. He doesn't respect me at all. He treats me like trash. I think I've had enough. I want to leave. Leave to where? Up is not to this house. No, I think I have enough money to rent an apartment where I can be managing. I'll also get a job to support myself. Rose! Disgrace me in Jesus' name. You will not appreciate my reproach to this family. So you mean you want to leave your husband's house? You want to become a divorcee? You want my friends and haters to laugh at me and mock me? Do you know how many people were envious when you were getting married to a millionaire like Richard? Now you want to make us a laughing stock. God forbid. This is not about what anyone will say or think. This is about my life. Richard is a violent man and I can't continue to be used as a punching bag. Listen and listen good. Let me talk to you as a mother. I know your friends must have advised you to leave your home. If you are wise, you will not listen to them. Because they also have issues in their homes. But we never leave yet. They are advising you to leave. There is no marriage without issues. Everyone is just trying to package theirs. I know that, mom, and I'm not divorcing Richard. I'm just trying to give myself a break and save my neck before he kills me. I'll be praying for him from the other house. That will be dangerous there. That break will give another woman the chance to come and take over your home. And if that happens, we are all finished. Especially me. You know Richard is the one sustaining me. Please, I'm begging you with everything. Don't leave your husband's house for any reason. I'm praying for you and I know God will intervene. You just need to keep praying. I'm tired, mom. 
The Lord is your strength there. I know he will help you win this battle. Amen. Oh, I hope so. This is too much for me, guys. I am so done with this marriage. I think you need to calm down. Leaving your marriage is not the best option. This woman has been nothing but a pain in the ass, all in the name of feminism. I think Caleb has tried enough. Amanda wasn't really like this. She became worse when she joined their union. I believe she will come back to her senses with time. Guy, leaving her is not the solution. Give her more time. Rubbish. What time has he not given her already? The woman is already making a fool out of him, riding him anyhow she likes. In fact, she's already the head of the family. The thing is, I love this woman so much. I don't want to lose her, but she's driving me crazy. You better throw her out completely before she really lose your mind. I warned you when she started misbehaving, but you didn't listen. You allowed it, man. You allowed it. Baby, yes, wait for me at that her usual hotel. I will be with you in a moment. I love you, babe. I have to go, guys. You are going to meet your side chick, Abby? Of course I am. What about your wife? She knows and she's cool with heat. Your wife is cool with you cheating. I provide for her and gives her everything she wants. So I don't owe her anything. I am the man of the house and can do whatever I like. If she tries to mess with my authority, I don't hesitate to put her in her place. You are wrong, man. You owe your woman respect and fidelity. You are hurting her and that's not nice at all. She's human and has feelings too. Are you minding this woman, Bita? You better go and get a life and stop meddling in other people's business. I have got to go, guys. The earlier you forget about that feminist wife of yours and move on, the better for you. Don't listen to him, man. Don't give up hope yet. I believe Amanda will soon come back to her senses. Just let her be for now. I have told her not to bother coming home. The worst part is that she doesn't have any atom of remorse for her actions. She hasn't called to apologize or anything. I doubt if she even loves me at all. Of course she does. She's just under some sort of influence at the moment and will soon come back to her senses. Just give her time. She realizes how empty she is without you and will come back begging. But don't make it so easy for her. If she comes back, give her hard time so that she can have a taste of her medicine. Guy, you've been quiet all this while. Is anything the matter? This is unlike you. Omo, um, I don't have anything to say. I am tired of this single life. See the way all of you are talking about your relationship. I think it's high time I begin to think about my life because I don't understand myself again. You are the one that wants to remain single. Your wife is beside you, but you refuse to see her. Did you define high class babe? Turn the fire your left kidney there. I have told you to stop calling and getting my wife. She's not my type and would never be. <laughs> See, persuade the fine type. Anyways, I wish you luck in finding your type. Don't worry, I will shock you all. Mama, what a surprise. You didn't inform us that you'd be coming today. You witch. You think you can separate me from my son? Junior, please go to your room. I'll call you when I'm done, okay? You seriously think my son will choose you over me? Wow. <laughs> I never knew we were in a competition for your son's attention. You started the competition when you refused to stay in your place and decided to separate us. And I'm going to prove to you today that I can't compete with you because. I'm his mother, and he will pick me over anybody, including you. And how do you intend to prove that? It's none of your business. I'm going to sit here and wait till Frank comes home. I feel sorry for you because this time around you'll be disappointed.
So my son ran away from me because of another woman and cut me off from reaching him. What exactly did I do to deserve this kind of treatment from my own son? What exactly do you want from me? I give you everything you want, but you are bent on coming in between me and my wife. And for your information, Mabel is not another woman. She's my wife. How dare you talk to me like that? Do you want to be unfortunate? Have you forgotten how much I suffered to get you to where you are today? And you have the guts to choose another woman over me. I'm going to move in here permanently with you, whether you like it or not. With all due respect, mom, I really appreciate your sacrifice in making me who I am today. And if you are being honest to yourself, you know that I've shown you enough love and care. In return, you can't move into my house and that's final. <laughs> See this small boy of yesterday trying to rub shoulders with me. I have sent someone to get all of my things. She should be here any moment from now. What? You heard me. I can't allow another woman to destroy all my efforts or separate you from me. I think you need to see a therapist. You're losing your mind. No one is separating you from me. Where is all this madness coming from? Oh, so it has gotten to the extent of calling your own mother a mad woman, right? I can see that this witch has started poisoning your mind against me, but I'm here to stop her completely. Look, mom, if you try to force yourself into this house, I'll leave this house for you completely, and you'll never see or hear from me again. Is that a threat? It's not a threat. It's a warning. And I meant every single word I said. I will live with my family. And you will never see or hear from me again. The choice is yours. Choose to stay. And risk losing me forever. Or go in peace. Come back here. Don't you dare walk out on me. Frank! 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 This woman has finally succeeded in turning my son against me. <clears throat> if I don't leave, Frank might truly ghost out on me and leave me completely. I can't let that happen. I will leave, but I will definitely deal with that Mabel. She thinks she has succeeded in terminating me, but I will surprise her. Not to think you were hard on her. Of course not. I had to do what I had to do. Are you sure she will leave? She will. I know my mom very well. She can't deal with me ghosting out on her. She will definitely leave. I hope so. I'm really proud of you. I can't believe you will have a man up. I will do anything to keep the love of my life by my side. Oh, really? Yes. I love and respect my mother a lot. But I love you more. Because you are the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. I can't allow anyone come in between us ever again. I love you so much. I don't know if I should cry your love. You can do both if you wish. You're just the best. I love you more. MD, MD, good morning, no. Now, wow. So, now me, MD, they give revo, Sabi. I better moving on with my life since this guy doesn't want to notice me. I really love him, oh. I have done everything I can do to get his attention. I have flashed all my green light, but he doesn't want to notice me. He's even ignoring me. Maybe I will just move on. Oh, ma, the kind of hunger where they wear me this morning, eh? No be hell. I don't have anything in this house to eat. Not even Gary. The last card I have is 15 naira, And I cannot go and beg in Kechi for food. Again. What will I do like this? Hunger want to finish me. Ah, eh. I know what to do. Let me go and meet that Boki where the cooking dummy for our street. Aboki, how far now? I do. I won't buy Indomie. Yes, so. One more. One guy won't finish me. I bet help me cook Indomie and egg. How much Indomie? 300 naira. 300? If you finish them. 
I tell you, say, make you cook indomie of 300 naira. You are asking if I can finish it. It's like you don't want me to patronize you today. If you waste my time, I will go to another place. I beg, no bears. I will cook them now. How much egg you want on top? Help me get 300 naira egg too. MD, MD. You be like, say, your hunger, not do this here. If I did buy like this every day, um, I go hammer. Uh, so, just cook it fast, please. Okay, sir. Aboki. Sir. I beg, help me garnish that food well. Uh. Yes, sir. Are you done? Yes, sir. Now, you serve me 15 naira own from that food that you cook. I know you hear you. What do you talk? I say serve me 15 naira indomie. Now, 15 naira indomie I want to buy out of the food you cook. Eh. Hey. Where am I? What happened? Rivers, you are the hospital. You are saved now. Oh, ma. Thunder will fire that Aboki and his boys. He want to kill me because of ordinary 700 naira. Shut up your mouth, Jare. You are the one thunder that will fire. Why will you be doing such a thing? If you were hungry, why didn't you meet me? You want to be giving me revels, Abi? Now see where it has landed you. If I had known, I would have met you. But how did I get here? The last thing I remember is one of those boys hitting my head with a big stick. It was Mama Risi that told me that they were beating you at the street and accusing you of stealing. I had to quickly lodge there. By the time I reached there, they had already knocked you out. I had to beg them to review and pay them the money. Then I quickly lost you here. I thought you had died, Seth. Chai. So that's how I would have died. Thank you so much. I don't know how to thank you. You are a true friend and neighbor. May God bless you. Please, I know you want to be giving me revels. But whenever you are hungry, feel free to come and meet me. I have enough food. Don't try this thing you did today again. No. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. Let me go and tell the doctor that you have woken up. Amanda, you look like hell right now. Why are you crying? What's the matter? Please, can you let me stay at your place for some time before I get a place of my own? Of course. You are welcome to stay here as long as you want. But you've not told me what the problem is. My husband was serious about not coming home. I returned from SA this evening and my bag was already waiting for me outside. I can't believe that Caleb will ever treat me like this. It came as a shock to me. He insulted me and told me that he's filing for a divorce. I wasn't expecting it at all. The killer I know is always patient, sweet and understanding. But I saw another part of him today. Is that why you're crying? Come on, you're bigger than this now. If he wants to leave you, then let him leave you. You have your career to focus on. Any man that doesn't want you to succeed in your career should not be with you in the first place. Forget about him, you will find a better man that will support you no matter what. Caleb is just being selfish. You don't understand. I love my husband. I don't want to lose him. I know Caleb is not fully in support of my being a feminist, but he's a good man and he supports me in everything. That's the problem with you women. You allow your emotions cloud your thinking and that is why the men are always ahead of us and put us under. Trust me. Caleb doesn't deserve you. He wants you to give up your modeling career for him. If he truly loves you and supports you as you claim, he will not try to stop you from taking this job. You need to let him go and face your career. It's not that easy. What about my daughter? When you guys go to court, you will definitely have the custody of your daughter. I will make sure of that. Don't worry about that. <sighs> Are you sure? Yes. Cheer up, girl. Come. Let me show you to your room. You really need to take a shower and rest. Then you will gist me how your trip to South Africa was. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your guy, Kestro. Don't mention what our friends. It's now that I'm about to lose Caleb that I realize how much I love him. 
I don't want to lose him, but at the same time, I don't want to give up my modeling career. I know how much I earned while in SA. I earned more than double of my salary at the office. I can't leave all of that. What do I do? I still want my family. I love them so much. Maybe I'll give Caleb time. I know he'll still come back and beg me like he always does. He loves me so much too. Maybe he's just trying to play hard guy today. He'll still come around. I know Caleb. He can't change towards me all of a sudden. He can't be serious about leaving me. He just can't. Are you really serious about divorcing Amanda? I am. I think I have tried my best for Amanda. I have loved her unconditionally. I took a lot of things I would ordinarily would not take from anyone, all in the name of love. Amanda has disrespected me severally. She does whatever she likes and doesn't care how I feel about it. She runs away from all her responsibilities and leaves them to me. I have become a simp overnight because of her. I think I have had enough. I am even beginning to doubt that she even loves me at all. I know you have every reason to feel the way you feel right now, but I don't want you to doubt the love Amanda has for you. I know she loves you very much. She's just under some kind of manipulation. She'll definitely come around. You know, she wasn't really like this until she joined that feminist union. Well, I'm not the one to be held accountable for letting herself get manipulated by some confused set of people. The Bible says a wise woman builded her home, but the foolish ones scattered it. I have tried my best to make this thing work, but Amanda is bent on destroying it. I love her, but I can't continue to endure this torment. I just can't. I can't give up yet. What about your daughter? Do you want your child to grow up from a broken home? Are you really sure you want to end this? If Amanda comes back to her senses and realizes her mistake, I will take her back because I really love her. But if she doesn't, then I'm afraid I will have to let her go. I can't be the one enduring and sacrificing all the time. It's exhausting. I understand. Can you permit me to talk to her? I think she really needs some talking to. You can, but I doubt if she will listen to you at all. I just hope she doesn't disrespect and even insult you. Because she's really good at that. It's okay. Whether she insults me or not, I'll still talk to her. I wish you good luck with that. You have to be positive, man. I believe everything will work out well. Are you serious? Babe, I envy you. You don't become big babe. Yeah, so I'll be going for my next shoot this weekend. At where? Here in Nigeria, at the beach. I'm so happy for you. You are very lucky. How I wish I have your type of body so that I can become a model like you. Now so, better face your work at the office. And that's what one man wants you to leave, all because of his selfish desires to dominate. He is afraid that you will soon be richer than he is, and he doesn't want that to happen. You are right. Hello? Yes. Now? Okay. I'll be there. Are you going out? My husband friend just called me. He wants to see me urgently. I think it has to do with the issue of me and Caleb. You can go see him, but don't allow him to brainwash you. You are talking to me as if I'm a baby. Don't you trust me? I trust you. I'm just saying. Let me go see him immediately. I'll be right back. Okay, dear. Do respect, sir. I love Caleb, but I can't do what you are asking. I can't give up my career for him. If he loves me as he claims, then he will not try to hinder me from attaining my goals. But you know, Caleb has always supported you in everything. If you have been honest with yourself, you know that he has sacrificed a lot for you. We can't begin to count how many times. He was supportive then because I wasn't a threat to him. Now that he knows I'll be any more than he is, he wants to stop me. I know Caleb very well. He's not in support of this recent job because he's a threat to your home. You will always be far away from him all the time and also be exposed to all sorts of temptations out there. He's not in support because he doesn't want to lose you. And besides, 
that job entails you going nude, which is not suitable as a married woman. Exposing your body to millions of men out there is not ideal for a responsible woman. Bold of you to think that you can tell me what I can do with my body. You men always think you have the right to dictate how and what a woman should do with her body. It's my body and I'll do whatever I want with it. If Caleb is not okay with it, then he should go and look for someone else he can control. Exposing your nude to the world doesn't make you a strong woman, an intelligent woman. It makes you valueless and reduces your worth and virtue as a woman. Says the patriarchy. You men need to unlearn that. My value isn't tied to how I choose to dress or what I do with my body. Please, if this is what you called me here for, then I'm sorry to disappoint you because I have to leave. Tell Caleb I can't leave my job because of him. And please, do well to mind your business. This should be the first and last time you will ever try to call me for something like this. My regards to your wife. Bye. Babe, that's your friend, the piece of work. Can you believe she walked out on me today while I was trying to talk to her about reconsidering her actions? Really? Yes. She told me to mind my business and walked out on me. I can't believe it. I wasn't expecting it at all. Hmm. I'm not surprised. You are not. I'm not. Amanda is my friend and I know her well. She wasn't really like this when she got married to Caleb. She became bad when she joined that union and worse when she started being friends with their leaders. I really feel sorry for Caleb. He has really endured a lot of shit from that woman. I feel for him too. He is really a good man and doesn't deserve the kind of treatment he gets from Amanda. You should talk to her. She's your friend. She should be able to listen to you. Did you say talk to Amanda? Yes. No one can talk to Amanda. The only person that can advise her is that useless friend of ours named Ada. She does only what Ada tells her to do. Wow. You all should leave her alone. I believe she'll come around very soon. It will soon dawn on her, but I hope it won't be too late when she finally realizes her mistake. I hope so too. Is that man with Inkechi? Does it mean that this girl has finally found another man to finally settle down with? I don't think so. Inkechi is a bush and local girl, and no man can marry her, especially that type of man. I don't think there is anything between them. Kechi baby, this one you are walking past me without greeting me as usual. Is anything the matter? I thought we are giving each other rivals. What is your business if I greet you or not? Biko, excuse my passing. I want to go to my shop. I am learning late, old lady. Kechi baby, calm down now. Your body to the hot. I want to ask you something. <laughs> Who is your baby? Please. Ask what you want to ask because I'm not having time. Um, the thing is, um, who is that guy I just saw you with? Does he want to marry you? See this man, oh, what is your business if he wanting to marry me or not? I am not answering your question. Please be minding your business. Okay, are you working out on me? So it has gotten to this extent. You now walk out of me. A whole MD. Now wow. So even this look at Gen Kechi is not being me too. A whole me. Chai. I am sure that man is not serious with Kechi. He just want to use and dump her. What is your business if he's trying to use and dump her? You are not interested in her because she's not your type. Now that the man has shown interest in her, you are complaining. Nkechi is a very good friend and neighbor of mine. I'm just trying to save her from heartbreak. Or you are just jealous that she's with another man and not you. What? Me? Jealous? God forbid. 
How can I owe me be jealous over that local girl? I am not. Then stop complaining about her new man and mind your business. Is there anything wrong in helping a friend? She has helped me several times. I guess it's my turn to help her too. I will not allow one gold digger break her heart. The guy looks like a gold digger to me. Now Sue, MD the helper, just admit that you are pained and jealous. Guy, you are started again, no? You just like to the best person. I am not jealous, period. Okay, oh. if you see Sue. Guy, do you have food in this house? I am hungry. I'm broke right now. You are always broke. Always broke and hungry. And yet, you are looking for classy babe. With the way you are, I doubt if even local Nkechi will accept you. Is that supposed to be an insult or what? Because I came to your house to eat, Abby. Keep quiet, Jerry. Before I change my mind about giving you food. My wife is cooking. Let me go and check if she's done cooking. You can't come in. Get out of my house. You can't be serious. I'm here to see my daughter and I have every right to do so. I can't allow my daughter associate herself with a mother like you who doesn't care about her family. You can't see her and when we finally get divorced, I will make sure you don't see us ever again. I will take my daughter and leave this country. She won't be associated with you. <laughs> You're funny. So you really think the court will grant you custody of our daughter, don't you? There is no R. The earlier you realize it, the better for you. So you better stop using that word. It's finally over between us. I am moving on. So for the last time, get out of my house. You can't be serious. I want to see my daughter. I said leave. I'm not going anywhere without seeing my daughter. Caleb, am I the one you are treating like a stranger? Yes, because that's what you are to me, a stranger. Caleb, Caleb, oh my God, this is not happening. Caleb, come back here. I want to see my daughter. I can't believe I treated Amanda like that. She's still my wife and I still love her, but I can't just help myself anymore. She keeps pushing me to the wall. I don't want to divorce her. I want her back, but at this time, I can't tolerate her toxic behavior. Or should I call her back and apologize to her? Should I let her see our daughter? Hmm, no I can't. Let her have a feel of how she makes me feel too. God, please, touch the heart of Amanda. Please, I don't want to lose her. I can't believe that Caleb will ever treat me like this. Like I'm a stranger. Like he doesn't feel anything for me anymore. He even threw me out of his house like I'm some sort of trash. Hey, God, does it mean I have lost him for real? Have I really lost my beautiful family? Do I really want this divorce? Has <sighs> Caleb maltreated me in any way to warrant my leaving him? God, I don't even know what I really want anymore. I still love Caleb, but he seems to hate me now. What do I do? Ada, what are you doing? And what does it look like I'm doing? Are you a lesbian? What does it look like? Jesus, get away from me. Don't you dare touch me. Come on, don't allow my efforts be in vain. I really like you. If you were smart enough, you would have noticed the way I look at you and all that. What? From the first day I met you, I've always liked you. That's why I tried my best to convince you into joining the feminist union because I know that's the easiest way to get you. I did my best to convince you to leave Caleb so that I can have you to myself. No, please tell me you are joking. This can't be true. No, it's not. I love you so much, Amanda. And that's why I also went to the extent of getting you that modeling job so that you can finally have a reason to leave Caleb and come to me. Please, now that we are finally together, don't let my efforts go down the drain. I really love you. 
I'll be the best partner you would ever have. Men are toxic. You don't need them. You need me. Ah! If you dare touch me again with that demonic hands of yours, I will strangle you. Ada, how could you? I trusted you. I thought you were my friend who had my best interest at heart. I'm more than a friend. If you let me, I'll become a lover. The best you will ever have. Shut your trap. My God, you disgust me. So all this while, your plan was to destroy my home so that I will move in here and become your partner in abomination. You are evil. You are wicked and Kama will definitely pay you back for this. Look, I will try my best to overlook the fact that you just slapped me. But I will tell the truth. You have no choice than to remain here with me. Because if you don't, I will tell the modeling agency to withdraw your contract. And you will not also be able to get your job back at the comp. Caleb won't also take you back because he now hates you, which now leaves me at your mercy. Ta! God forbid! I'd rather die than to stay one more second in this place with a field like you. You are disgusting. In fact, you stink. I'm leaving. I will be here waiting for you when you are done running in circles. Everything will be all right. I know Caleb still loves you and we definitely accept you back. I can't believe I was so stupid to allow that demonic woman mislead me. Now I've lost everything, including my so-called job. All is not lost, dear. Just go and beg him on your knees. I'm sure he still has a soft spot for you. I don't think so. You need to see the way Caleb treated me yesterday when I went to see my daughter. He asked the gatekeeper to throw me out and talk to me like a total stranger. He said he's moving on already. I've never seen Caleb like that before. He acted said that way because he's really hurt and heartbroken. That man has really endured a lot for you. So you can't really blame him for acting the way he did. If you go back and really beg him, I know he will accept you back. Crying over spilled milk will not solve the issue. You made your mistake. You were foolish, but thank God you've realized your mistake. But what if it's too late to fix my mistake? It's not late, dear. I'm very optimistic. I hope so. So this girl has the effrontery to leave me after all my efforts to make her mine. So she thinks she can abandon me and go back to that husband of hers. Hmm. She doesn't know who she's messing with. I will make things difficult for her. That she will have no choice than to come back to me. Nonsense. Caleb, please. I'm so sorry. I still love you and I want to make this marriage work. I am sorry too. I still love you and equally want this marriage to work. But in as much as I love you, I can't get married to a cheat. What are you talking about? I would never cheat on you. Oh, you think I wouldn't know? No what? I'm confused. About your escapades in South Africa, your leader told me all about it, including how you slept with different men to get the job. What? And I told you all that? Yes. And you believed her? Yes. Do you expect me to believe you after all you have done? I don't even know what to believe anymore. Please leave my house. Baby, please let me explain everything. I never cheated on you and we never. Please, you have to believe me. Ada is a liar. She orchestrated all of this just so she could separate us. Please, you have to listen to me. Please, you can't possibly believe the words of a stranger more than mine. Can you? But it's the same stranger you choose to listen and follow all this while. So why do you expect me to listen to you now? I'm so sorry, love. I was so gullible and foolish then. Please listen to me. Please. You know what? I think you have overstayed your welcome. You can leave now. I need more time to think straight. Caleb, please don't do this to me. Please leave my house. Except you want me to call the security man to throw you out. Please don't do this. Just go. Hello? Yes. This is Frank. What? Which was me too? Okay. I'm on my way. Doctor, 
What exactly did you see happen to my wife? She was poisoned. If they hadn't brought her in earlier, she would have died. Poisoned? How? According to her colleagues, she started reacting after eating a meal she purchased from a food vendor on campus. Investigations are still ongoing. I still don't understand. Are you trying to say that she was deliberately poisoned? Given to the nature and type of poison, I think so. Thank you very much. Please, I'll be right back. I really need to look into this issue and get to the root of this matter. Alright then, I'll be in my office. This world is a wicked world indeed. How can a mother do this to her own son? That's the same question I keep asking myself. I really feel for Frank. He must be really going through a hard time right now. I don't think he can come to terms with the fact that his mother is not a good person. I feel for him too. Frank! Mabel! Please relax. Frank will soon be here. He went to sort out some things. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling better. Let me go and inform the doctor that you are awake. I'll be right back. What happened? The food vendor who sold you the food let her confess to poisoning your food. But why? What's my offense? She said your mother-in-law paid her a huge amount of money to do that. What? But why would mama do this to me? Has it gotten to this extent? Frank has gotten her arrested and will be charging her to court for attempted murder. He's really mad right now. My God, where is he now? He's at the police station. He'll soon be here. Just relax, okay? You'll be fine. I don't know why that woman hates me so much. I've tried my best to please her, but nothing I do makes her happy. She hates me to the extent of wanting to kill me. Just relax there. Everything will be fine. She's already taken care of. I wonder what my husband is going through right now. He doesn't deserve this at all. It's okay, dear. Everything will be fine. I'm so happy you are okay now. What about you? You look like hell. Have you been crying? What about Caleb? Caleb has refused to take me back. That witch went behind my back and fed him with all sorts of lies about me. Now he thinks I'm a cheat. What? Yes. We'll talk about that later. For now, let's focus on making sure you are better. How are you feeling, dear? A lot better than yesterday. Wow, this one that this guy is always with in Kechi these days. I hope it's not what I'm thinking, you know. That guy looks like a gold digger to me. I need to stop him before he breaks in Kechi's heart. Kechi baby, sorry for disturbing you, but won't you introduce me to your new man? What is your business here? Can't you mind in your own business? I thought you are giving me reverence now. It's not like that. I just want to know if this guy is really honest about you or he's just a gold digger after your money. Excuse, man. I will not tolerate you coming here to insult me. Why don't you mind your business and hit the road? You see, this guy is not right for you. See how he's already angry. He's after your money. If you don't shut up, you won't like what I will do to you now. Ta! Shut up, dear. You gold digger. I know you don't love Nkechi. You are just after her money, and I'm going to make sure you don't end up with her. No, no, nonsense. Please, take it easy, yo. I'm in pain. What is your business here? Can't you mind in your own business? So you are reporting that gold digger boyfriend of yours, Abby? He is not a gold digger. He is my brother. Your brother? Yes. 
It not tell me now. How was I supposed to know he's your brother? How will he I tell you when you have decided to give him me revels? I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean it that way. Please, I need a favor from you. You are always wanting favor. What is it again? I'm very hungry. I'm so broke right now. I need food. Please, did you cook anything? You are always hungry and blue. I am just pitying you because of the beating my blood I gave you. Thank you so much. That's why I love you. Rough who? I beg, keep your rough to yourself. I am coming. Let me get you something to eat. Thank God for Nkechi. If not, how will I survive? I'm more than relieved that that guy is not a suitor, but her brother. I don't want any guy to come and take her from me. But wait a minute. Am I jealous? Nkechi is not my type now. Then, why am I jealous that someone else might come and marry her? Or, am I falling in love with that local girl? No, it can't be. She's not my type. I must not fall for her. How is my baby doing? I feel better. The doctor said that you'll be discharged this evening. We'll be going home today, dear. Thank God. So where is she? I don't think we should be talking about this now. Frank, please. Okay, she's in prison. Can we drop that topic for now? I'm so happy to have you back. I don't know what would have become of me had you left me. It's alright, love. Everything will be fine. I'm here with you now. I love you so much and can't bear to lose you. I love you too. I don't even know who to believe. I still love Amanda. But what her friend told me is really getting to me. Does it really mean that Amanda really cheated on me and slept with several men to get that modeling job? Amanda can be a lot of things, but she's definitely not a promiscuous woman. The thing is, Amanda has really given me reasons to doubt my trust for her. I don't even know who to believe anymore. God, please help me. I'm really confused. I'm so happy to have you by my side again, and I apologize on my mother's behalf. I never knew she tested you to this level. The question is why? I don't even care to know. All I know is that she's going to rot in jail for trying to kid love my life. Are you really going to charge her to court and let her rot in jail? Of course. But she's still your mother. God forbid. That type of woman cannot be my mother. She's evil. Have you tried talking to her? No, we've not seen her and we will not. She doesn't deserve to see me. She wrote in jail. She tried to kill me. You mean me? If she has succeeded in killing you, hasn't she killed me? I know, love, but I still think you have been so hard. Why don't we go and see her and hear what she has to say? Are you even listening to yourself? I should not be hard on the woman that tried to kill you. It's okay, love. Let's drop that topic for now. I'm just happy to be alive and back with my family. Same here, babe. So are you here so that we can reconcile and get back together? You devil. What did you tell my husband? I told him what would make him hate you so that you can run back into my arms. Caleb can never believe and trust you ever again. And I can see it work quite well. If not, you won't be here. You're such an evil person. And Kama will definitely catch up with you. Anyways, I beat you to your game because I have gotten the evidence to prove that you are lying. Which is? You slimy bitch. How dare you? I'm also going to report you to the company and make sure you lose your job and everyone on social media will know what type of person you truly are. You wouldn't dare. Let's watch and see them. I really need to speak with Frank's mom because I still can't phantom why she did what she did. I know Frank would be against it, so I'll just secretly go and see her. If I don't go and see her, my mind will not be at rest. 
I'll go this weekend. I really have to. I can't believe this. So she fed me lies just for me to hate you. But why would she go to that extent? She's a lesbian. She wanted me for herself. She orchestrated everything. The modeling job, my leaving your house, and every other thing. She wanted me to leave you completely. This is unbelievable. But how can you allow yourself to be friends with that kind of person? Didn't I tell you that she was having a negative influence over you? I'm so sorry for not listening to you. If I had known that she was an evil person, I wouldn't have gone close to her. Not to talk of being friends with her. I'm so sorry for every pain that I caused you through my stubbornness and behavior. Please forgive me. I still love you and I want this marriage to work out. I still love you, dear, but I will only forgive you on one condition. I will accept any condition, no matter what it is. I just want my family back. You will leave that feminist union and never participate in their stupid advocacy ever again. Of course I will. Anything to have you back. I don't even have plans of being in their union after everything that has happened. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I've let them already. Stand up then. I forgive you. Are you serious? I say stand up. Thank you so much. I promise to be the best wife ever. You will not regret giving me another chance. I know I won't. I love you so much. I love you too. Where is Princess? She's at her grandma's place. Really? Please, I'm going to get our daughter. You should. She has been asking after you for the past few weeks. And what have you been telling her? That you traveled and will soon be back. You're just the best man any woman can ask for. I thank the heavens for blessing me with you. And I must be the luckiest man to have you. You want to start flattering me, right? Please let me go get our daughter. I'll be right back. Don't be long, sweetheart. I'm waiting for you. I'm so happy for you there. You're so lucky. Yes, so I really thank God for giving me the wisdom to tackle this issue. If not, I would have lost Caleb forever. I saw the thread you made concerning Ada and her evil agenda. They've been dragging her for days now. I promised her that I will reveal her true personality to the world, and I had to fulfill that promise. Can you believe that after I made that thread, different women started speaking up about how she destroyed their homes and relationship? Really? Yes, so. I was more than shocked at the terrible havoc she has caused her fellow women. Didn't I tell you? I told you, but you wouldn't listen. Madam Feminist, <laughs> are you not a feminist anymore? Don't even go there. Madam Feminist, the call. Stop it, Joe. Stop funny. <laughs> All ill our feminist queen. Please forgive me, my daughter. It was the work of the devil. I didn't know what came over me. Please forgive me. But why? I've never had any evil intention against you. I've always loved and respected you as my mother. But why would you think of killing me? I was so jealous of my son. I loved him so much that I didn't want any girl to take over his heart completely. Lest he forgets about me completely. That is total bullshit. And you know it. Frank loves you so much and gives you everything you want. You also know I'm not the kind of person to destroy your mother and son relationship. I started to be against it when it was becoming out of proportion. Please, forgive me, my daughter. Please have mercy on me. It was the work of the devil. Please, my daughter. Did you just call me your daughter? Would you really poison your own daughter? I didn't know what came over me when I did it. Please forgive me. I forgive you. What? What? Are you serious? Yes, I forgive you for the sake of God. Because God commands us to forgive. But I think you need the forgiveness of your son, which I doubt he will ever forgive you. He's more than mad at you. Thank you so much. Your forgiveness means a lot to me. We can talk about my son's forgiveness later. You are such a good person. I don't deserve to be your mother-in-law. It's okay. I have to go now. I think I've used the time allocated to me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Please help me talk to my son. I know he will listen to you. I need his forgiveness too. I will. But I can't promise anything for now. It might not be easy to convince him, but I'll still try. 
May God bless you for me. Thank you so much. All right, then. I have to go. Maybe you are beginning to get my nerves. I've told you to drop that matter. I'm not forgiving her, not mentioning dropping her charges. She's not my mother anymore. And we'll go to jail. But what about forgiving each other as children of God? Aren't you a Christian anymore? Remember, Christ told us to forgive others even as he forgives us. This case is different. Maybe, have you forgotten that this woman tried to kill you? Have you forgotten the fact that you might be dead right now? But be as human, commit worse sin, and Christ still forgives us. The important thing is that she is remorseful and feels sorry about it. She regrets her every action. No, I can't do this. Do you really love me and care about my happiness? Yes, that's why I'm having her locked up, so that she won't try to harm you anymore. Locking her up wouldn't make me happy. It would only make me sad and feel unloved. What? The only thing that will make me happy is when you forgive her and drop the charges. That's not happening. My decision is final. She goes to jail. The earlier you realize I'm not changing my mind, the better for you. Something smells good in here. You better go out, except you want to get me distracted and ruin tonight's dinner. Who cares about the dinner? I care about you. Look who is talking. Are you not the one complaining of being furnished some minutes ago? But I want my wife more than any food right now. To be honest, I really miss this moment. Same here. I'm really enjoying our marriage right now. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I never believed that I would experience this peace and happiness in our home again. I thought I had lost you completely to feminism. <laughs> Don't mind my stupidity. Thank God I realized my mistake before it was too late. I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too. Guy, I'm so happy for you. You can say that again. Amanda is now a new person. She has completely changed. I'm now experiencing a new peace in my home. You got to be kidding me. So you forgave that woman and let her into your home again? What were you expecting? That he should beat her up and throw her away? My friend, shut up. I wasn't talking to you. I had to. She was really sorry and full of remorse for her actions. Besides, that's what marriage is all about. Tolerance and forgiveness. That is why your wives keep on misbehaving and don't have any fear for you. Fear? Why should my wife fear me? When I am not God. He means you should put fear into her by buying a cane in the house and using it on her all the time. Don't be unfortunate. Who is talking about beating? I don't they talk my own. But see how you de para. Now guilty conscience they worry you. MD. It's not funny. But Richard, hope you don't beat Rose because I don't understand this fear you are talking about. Why should my wife fear me? Why would I beat her? Of course I don't. But she fears and obey me because I set my standards from the beginning and it's strict with them. That is how to have a peaceful home. If you give these women space, they will just ride you. Does it mean you are being threatened by your wife? Because that's not display of manliness. Being hard on her only shows your weakness and fear. That's right. A woman that loves you will respect you no matter what. You don't have to be hard on her to get the respect. The way your wife has respected you now. I beg, let's stop deceiving ourselves. Marriage has its ups and downs. Amanda and Caleb had theirs. And Caleb had endured the disrespect for some time. Now everything is alright. There are times... When you have to endure shit just to make things work out. He cannot understand because he's not into marriage, but military rule. I really don't know where you got this low life from because on a norms, he is not supposed to be in our cycle friends. You better tell him to learn how to stay in his place. If not, I will show him that you are not on the same level. Oga, shut up, Jare. What do you want to do? MD, can you please stop it already? It's no longer funny. I've told you that you should learn how to talk. Guy, calm down. You never reach that level. 
Don't have fire all of now. So you want to shut me up because this woman bitter is here. Because of what? Because say he gets money. It's like all of you want her to fire you. MD, calm down. You are already creating a scene here. Like, forget creating a scene. Who do you think you are? You think you can intimidate me here, Abby? Please, can someone call the bouncers to get this low life out of here? Which bouncers? Let the bouncers come. I will bounce them out of here. No nonsense. It's like I want to fire your left kidney. MD, can you stop this madness? Abe, don't tell me what to do. I must change it for this woman bitter here. Oh, you think I don't know you use your wife as punching bag at home? Everyone here, listen, you know, I have an announcement to make. This man here beats his wife at home. Please, show this nuisance out of this place. It's your generation that is nuisance. Turn that fire your left kidney, dear. No, no, nonsense. But they bounced you out last last. Even if they bounce me out, I will still talk my mind. That woman bitter thinks he can intimidate me because he has money. Who told you that he beat his wife? No one told me. I just know. I have my ways. Hmm. I don't think so. Because Rose is close to my wife. And she has never complained about Richard ever beating her. She hide it well. Women can be very secretive if they want to. She can't be secretive to the extent of hiding such a thing. If she's going through hell, she can't be silent about it till now. I will shock you. You that is talking. Have you seen him beat her? No, but... Case closed. You're just assuming. There's no evidence. That reminds me. How is Nkechi? Um, uh, Nkechi don't they give me level, so... If you're not the one that started it... I know, but I want to end it. Then go talk to her about it. Then you can use that medium to ask her out. Ask her out? Or you still want to pretend she's not your type? It's not that. So what is it? It's me. I'm not her type. Ah. Ah. This is becoming interesting. You are the one that is now not her type. Please explain. Nketi has money. More than me by far. I'm so broke that I even depend on her for food. Then you need to dub your hozu. So you can come up a bit financially and stop this your squandering all your money at the bar. Learn to save. I'm trying my best to hustle, but my village people don't want me to hammer. They keep on following me. Will you come off with that superstition and stop making excuses for yourself? Okay. I will try and double my hustle. Better for you. Baby, what's the matter with you? You know what's wrong. Babe, I'm not doing what you wish this time around. I can't drop the charges. Then you could as well leave me alone. Mabel, Mabel, what's wrong with this woman? MD, my rough. Are you really the owner of this jeep? It's not mine, it's yours. I got it for you. It is a rye. You are right, you know. MD, you mean you got this gym for me? Yes, I told you that I am now a billionaire, but you don't want to believe it. But there is one more thing. I believe it now. That's not all. There is one more thing. One more thing? Yes. Will you marry me? Oh my God, I can't believe this. Yes, I will marry you. Chai, so it's all a dream. So that jeep and expensive suit were just a dream. Even the proposal was a dream too. Chai, turn that fire poverty. And money really fits me, oh. See as I find for that suit where I wear. God I beg, come out anything where they hinder me from making this money. I beg. Baby, aren't you hungry? You refuse to eat. 
and drink over a woman that tried to kill you. What type of woman being are you? Do you not hate your mother so much that you can't forgive her? I don't hate her, but she has to pay for her sins. Let God be the judge. You are not the one to pay for her sins. God will do that. All you need to do is forgive her. My mind will not be at peace knowing that my mother-in-law is rotting in prison and I have what it takes to help her. She is really sorry and I'll change for real. Please, if you really love me, you will do this for me. Okay, I'll consider it. Can you please come and eat and stop starving yourself? Are you serious? I'm serious. I will think about it. Please, let's go and eat. I don't like to see you like this. Thank you so much. You don't know how happy I am to hear this from you. Can we go now? Sure. So you mean you dropped all the charges and forgave that woman? I had to. What do you mean by you had to? Yes, I couldn't bear to know that my mother-in-law is rotting in jail and I could be of help to her. What? Are you serious right now? For goodness sake, Mabel, this woman tried to kill you. But she is sorry and remorseful about her actions. That doesn't change anything. She is sorry doesn't fix the fact that she is supposed to pay for her sins. Let God be the judge. Mine is to forgive her. I still can't believe it. You are really one of a kind. What if she tries to kill you again? She won't. Trust me. She has repented. <laughs> repented indeed. <clears throat> I just hope you know what you are doing. Left to me, there's no way I would let someone who tried to kill me out of jail, even if she's my mother, because there's every probability that that person might want to finish what he or she has started. Don't mind her. Maybe you're the kind-hearted Samaritan. Trust me, I know I made the right choice by forgiving her. If you say so. And how is our famous feminist doing? <laughs> she's no longer a feminist, though. She's now a humanist who now believes in equity and not equality. Are you serious? Maybe can you stop it already? It's not funny. I want to see a recent post on Twitter. Please, I really need to go home now before my husband returns from work. You're always in a hurry to leave each time we hang out together. Will he beat you if he comes home before you? Please, maybe we should be hanging out early so that I will have to leave on time. But right now, I have to go. See you girls later. Is she okay? She's alright. Maybe she wants to go prepare dinner for her husband. You know how attached she is to him. But what exactly do you want to get? I just want to get some simple gowns. Can you imagine that this girl is talking to my husband over the phone about the money he sent her? That's my husband's side chick. Are you serious? Yes, she's the one that came to my house with my husband and still had the F on to talk to me anyhow. Well, she's not the one you have problem with, it's your husband. No, I have problem with her and I'm having it out with her today. No, please don't do what you're thinking. We are in a public place and you only embarrass yourself. If you're not comfortable here because of his presence, we can go to another boutique. No, I'm not leaving. This is the witch that has been making Richard treat me like trash. She wants to destroy my home and I'm going to have it out with her today. Who is this bitch? Prostitute. By the time I'm done with you today, you learn to stay away from people's husband. Just look at the way you disgrace yourself out there. What you did was totally wrong. I had to do what I had to do. That girl has done enough. Richard spends on her and even treats me anyhow because of her. Fighting her in the public is definitely not the best way to go about it. I just hope this wouldn't cause more problems for you. It won't. After the beating she received today, she won't try to come close to my husband ever again. Mm. Hello, sweetheart. It's over between us. I can't fake this again. What? Please tell me you are joking. What is the matter? Your wife saw me at the boutique today. Not only did she embarrass me, she also beat me up. Rose beat you up? Yes, and I can't take it anymore before she kills me next time. I'm not ready to die. Baby, please, don't leave me. I love you so much. I will give you any amount you want. Three million naira, or I am done. Because you really need to compensate me for my injuries. Consider it's done. And that's not all. What else do you want? You need to warn your wife and put her on her place. Because of this happen again, 
I will not take it lightly with the both of you. Don't worry about that. I am so going to deal with that today. Trust me, it won't happen again. I'll be waiting for my money. Bye. So you had the guts to fight someone in public. How dare you? You mean your side chick? Oh, so you still have the mouth to talk, right? By the time I am done with you today, you will learn to mind your business and stay in your place. Oh my god, what have I done? Rose, please wake up. Please don't die like this. Please wake up. I promise never to beat you ever again. My God, I have killed my wife. Oh. What's happening here? Why is she lying on the floor? Oh my God, she's dead. What happened? Why is there bruises and marks on her body? Did you beat her to death? I didn't mean to. I was only trying to correct her. I didn't know I was hard on her. My God, did you use this on her? I, 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 I didn't mean to. You have killed her. You have killed my friend. You bastard. You have killed her. Maybe I always tell you guys that this man is a woman beater, but each time I talk, everyone will wave it aside, like I'm talking rubbish. Now look at it now. Try! So Rose is gone for real. But why was she so secretive about it? Why did she choose to die in silence instead of opening up to people who can help her? She told me. Really? And you never told me. She made me promise her that I will never tell anyone, not even you. I just had to feel the promise I made to her. Wow. So you knew all this while that Richard beat her? Yes, but I tried my best to help her. I advised her countless times, but she was bent on doing it her own way. You should have told someone else since your help wasn't working. You shouldn't have kept something like that as a secret. I'm so sorry. If I know it would turn out like this, I wouldn't have kept it a secret. But then I would be betraying her trust in me to keep a secret. Damn, Richard really fucked up. I knew he was being hard on Rose in a way, but I never imagined it would be to this extent. Now, I hope you people will take my word serious from now on. Oga, shut up, Jare. This is not the time to make jokes or apportion blames. I still can't believe Rose is dead for real. That animal used a pressing iron to eat her on the head several times till she died. He is so heartless and deserves to rot in jail forever. How can he even raise his hand on the woman he claims to love? Where was his heart when he was hitting her till she slumped and died? have I done? Hey, I'm done for. I have finally lost my daughter because of greed. I convinced her into marrying that beast because of money. And each time he beats her, I'm always indifferent so that he will not get offended and stop giving me money. I made her endure all the pain and torture because of what I was gaining from Richard. Now I have lost my daughter and also the money as well. Richard, it will never be well with you. I will make sure you rot in jail forever for killing my only daughter. It's all my fault. I don't think I will ever forgive myself knowing I also contributed to this tragedy. So that's how it all ended. Richard was sentenced to life years imprisonment. Frank's mom has changed for real and is now minding her business. Amanda has learned her lesson and is enjoying her marriage with Caleb now. As for me, this is where I am. Single, poor and miserable. Even Luca and Kichi rejected me. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Let me tell you how it happened. End 
be this one you are coming to visiting me today. Hope all is well. Um, um, all is well. I just came here to ask you something. I am listening. Do fast, though, because I want to go to my shop. Okay. The thing is that I'm very sorry for telling you that you are not my type and for giving you attitude and levels. I have already forgive you now. Is that what you're coming here to telling me? No. There is more important thing. I am listening. I really like you so much, and I want to be in a serious relationship with you. Relationship that will lead to marriage. <laughs> ah, ah, why are you laughing? Is anything funny in what I just said? You want to marriage me? Yes. With which money? I am sorry, but I can't marry you. Why? Is it because I'm poor? I thought you liked me. That was before I've seen a better man. I will be getting marriage very soon. I liked you before, but you have been giving me revels all these years. So a better man came around and I am in love with him now. What? MD, you are so poor that you even depend on me for food. How can I marry that kind of person? Please, you are not my type. Go and look for your type. So, that's how Luka Nkechi even told me that I am not her type. She has already gotten married and moved away to live with her husband. Oh, Mo, I don't know what is wrong with me. I still insist it is that my uncle in the village that is responsible for the way my life is. Anyways, it is where I believe that God will answer my prayers one day. But until then, I will continue to drink until my change comes.